Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and welcome back to our Rebirth of the Roman Empire Italian campaign. When we last left you, we were in a bit of a pickle. Uh, we are struggling to stay alive. Uh, not because our navy isn't strong enough, but because we are losing transports left and right and center. Uh, it's not ideal. It really isn't. If we uh, take a look at our Italian Empire, we currently have a GDP of just 1.8 million or billion dollars, which is not good. If that hits zero, we lose. I'm pretty confident. So we have got to figure out a way to uh, get our transport capacity back up. We have to. So uh, in the meantime, like we, we can't afford to completely obliterate our ability to create stuff and train our crews. We just can't. But we reduce that as much as we can. We're still losing $31 uh, million dollars per month. And our transport capacity is only at 36%. Like, we, we need this to go higher, like, now. So we've got to get some, some ships in the works that are going to uh, help us in that. And one way that we're going to do it is by building lots of, <clears throat> lots of smaller ships. Uh, we do have a lot of repairs going on, which is why we're over our budget right now. But hopefully that'll be over pretty quick. We've got a couple that are one month. Once they go away, then our, our DD should speed back up. Uh, but yeah, we are building our first set of destroyers. And uh, we're going to continue to try to spam some of these destroyers to give us some sort of like presence in all of our areas where we're struggling and losing, um, losing our transports currently. So... That's our goal. If we survive long enough to make it happen. And right now, that's not as likely as it sounds. What up, Sorvins, Jalen, Haas, Johnny, Yup, Stung, T-Bear, Capri, Yuga. Good to see everybody. Welcome back. That's all good, Johnny. Yeah, sorry guys. I, I I am pretty tired. I ended up, after the stream this morning, I was up all day long. Um, I went down to Jackson, which is like a two-hour trip down to the almost the river. Helped a, a friend get a cabinet, and then we drove the two hours back. And so by the time I went to bed, it was like 2 o'clock, and then I woke up at like 8. So I've only gotten like five hours sleep in the last 48 hours. So yeah, definitely not ideal. But uh, that's alright. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. It'll be fine. But we've got to survive this first. And one of the ways that we need to survive this is just by killing things. So let's continue to try to ruin the Russians and the British. Now, we took the lead in the war against the British, but again, it's, it's short-lived if we can't survive it. Gonna make sure we go back to protecting. Where's our cruisers? There they are. Make sure you're on protect as well. Basically, what we're trying to do is, is we're trying to shore up our, our area that we're losing the most most transports in. Because we need our transport fleet to continue to go forward. Otherwise, we're going to run out of money real quick. What up, Lances? How's it going? Nice to see you. What up, Alex? Corey, good to see you as well. <laughs> Stung. That's pretty funny. All right, let's go. What a blaze. Hmm. 
Mind Warp, how's it going? You're almost getting the USS Alaska? Very nice. She's a good boat, man. All right, so we got Gladius and Calgary versus a bunch of torpedo boats. Now, normally I'd be a little worried, but these guys should have decent crews. Yeah, seasoned crews and veteran crews. So these guys should be able to handle a few torpedo boats. Let's go. Glad to hear it, Alex. Glad you enjoy All right, here we go. Enemy spotted to the northeast. Let's go ahead and turn to engage. Make sure we're firing AP+. Plus. Remember, we are using SAP for all of our ships in this playthrough now that we have it. It is incredibly strong. So we're going to try to uh, use that to our advantage. I am slightly worried, however... Uh, the lack of overall guns on this th these things could be a problem against these torpedo boats. If the torpedo boats choose to enjoy or to uh, engage us. What up, Nito? I'll be honest, I couldn't tell you the last time I even had McDonald's. Like, ever since I've uh, started on trying to, like, lose weight and stuff, I've basically given up fast food altogether. I still eat a lot of junk that I shouldn't, but, like, I don't go to any fast food joints anymore. And I rarely go to restaurants anymore. <clears throat> to the east. Again, they have the advantage in terms of numbers. It wouldn't surprise me if they come at us. So hopefully they do. What up, Nightshade? Uh, we're not currently fighting the French. We are currently fighting the Russians and the British. Okay, these guys are just circling us. So let's try to get ahead of them if we can. Okay, they're they're running. I figured they would run. It was worth a shot. My favorite meal and least favorite meal. Um, I like a lot of food. It's hard to choose a favorite. Um, I do love me some pizza, though. Just a really good pizza. That's probably my favorite. Least favorite meal? Um, I know what it is. My mom used to make this dish called boiled dinner. It is literally like when you are completely broke and you have no money. It's cabbage and onions, some potatoes, and if you have a protein... They chop that up there too, but it's boiled and they throw a whole bunch of salt and pepper and seasoning in there to try to make it taste like more than just water and, and, and plants. <laughs> and so that's probably my least favorite for sure. Growing up when we didn't have any, any money whatsoever, um, there were, there were times where we, my mom would make do with what we had. And sometimes that meant the, the boiled dinner. Uh, it's either that or it's going to be, um, my mom used to do, uh, 
I, I, wilted, I, I think she called it wilted cabbage or wilted spinach, one or the other, where she would take fresh, fresh cabbage or fresh spinach and she would basically put it in a skillet and, and kind of fry it, but toss it in like vinegar at the same time. Yeah, that, that, that's probably one of those is my least favorite of the two. But, like, when it comes to favorites, if I have to choose a single favorite, it's probably going to be that. Or it's going to be a really good ribeye. Like, just a really good ribeye. All right, this is definitely going to be a runner. So we're just going to auto-resolve and hope that we don't get anybody sunk. Because the game's auto-resolve mechanic makes no freaking sense. Okay, we're good. Syria would like a Primo Victro class destroyer. Uh, that's fine. Sure, we can do that for now. Oh, apparently, we can't. Never mind. Didn't want to do it anyway. All right. So if we look fleet wise or finance wise, we are getting back. I mean, we're up to forty four percent in the transport capacity, so that's good news. Um, so we are growing again. Hopefully. We are struggling, and we're down to $393 million. So it's definitely not ideal. All right. Keep it going. Um, research, I mean, we're not speeding anything up currently. Anything we might want to speed some cruiser design up so that we can potentially get a heavy cruiser. But we are we are riding the struggle bus right now with finances. What up, Clayton? How's it going? Jesse, good to see you. Jester, law dog, long time. Yeah, the the runaway mechanic from uh, from the AI is a bit ridiculous when it comes to how they're able to get away from ships that they don't even outspeed. Like that makes no sense. Rip Blaze, will be careful, my dude. All right, we have two battleships. These are our new Leonardo da Vinci. Please let this guy actually engage us. Please, I don't ask a lot. Please let this guy actually engage us. He's only capable of 17 and a half knots, and we should be capable of 19. Yeah, so please, I want to see these things in act action. Please, please let him attack us. I want to see our battleships in action. Yeah, we had a very late stream last night. Like, I think we started the stream at like 3 a.m. my time. And I ended it at like 7 a.m. my time. All right, so enemy spotted to the southwest. If you guys don't remember these, these are our uh, Leonardo da Vinci class coastal defense battleships, essentially. They're a very small dreadnought. But look at the firepower those things pack, man. I can't wait to see how these things behave. God, I hope he engages us. I mean, I'm fully anticipating him running away. Oh, he's engaging! We've been spotted, boys! Let's go! 
Load up the AP, please. These are essentially shore defense batteries. These are not... Well, this will be a short battle, probably, but still. I have a feeling that this poor little... Poor little fella's gonna have a bad time. Remember, these are green crews, too. Like, we're not, we're not upgraded yet. Oof. Oof. Well, we got to see it in action, and I gotta say, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Good morning, Flo. Who did the most damage? Uh, that'll be Galatea coming in with 2,400 damage dealt. Nice job. You want how much firepower? Yes. We must be able to defend our shipping lanes. Give me all of the guns. The Pisa class was a series of three armored cruisers built in Italy during 1905 to 1909. Two of those ships were commissioned in the Italian Navy and a modified version was sold to Greece with the name Georgios Averov. The Italian version of the cruiser had a displacement of 9,832 tons and a top speed of 23 knots. The main armament was two twin 10-inch guns. Averov had 9.2-inch guns. The rest of the armament was quite heavy, featuring four twin 7.5-inch guns, 16 3-inch guns, eight 1.9-inch guns, and three underwater 17.7-inch torpedo tubes. Very nice. Well, uh, oh my god, we lost so much in the Western Mediterranean. There's so many, so many alliances being canceled. Oh my god, I just realized France has taken like half of Spain. France has legit, Spain capitulated. That's why, because Spain's gone. Spain doesn't exist anymore. France took Spain and the rest of Spain dissolved. Oh my god. Okay, well, rip Spain. We gotta get some presence over here, though. Um, what do we currently have? We don't have anybody in the Eastern Mediterranean. We have, a, we have several people in the... Central Mediterranean. We have these guys out here in the Arabian Sea. Uh, they're doing fine there, so let's have you guys stay in Southeast Asia. I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to invade the Philippines. What, what do they got for... Um, Army force of 57,790. And 43,000. Like, that's not a small army by any stretch. But I would definitely like to try to take this. Um, for the oil alone, like that's, that's a lot of oil. I know the American in me is coming out. Um, we just don't have the ability right now. We literally just don't have the ability. Let's, let's look at our politics. Our GDP has grown again, so that's good. We are up to 45%. So while they did knock out some of our transports, they did knock out a lot of them. 
So there's that. Um, ship design, I don't want to look at uh, this though. Five months until our destroyers start to come online. We have lots of repairs going on. We're at 80% here and we are underneath our tonnage. So let's go ahead and get some more of these. Uh... Actually, fleet. Uh, we have a Adagio class being built, right? That'll be done in 14 months. I think for now we, we hold off on building more battleships and focus on building smaller ships, though. How many how much tonnage do we have? We have 39,000 tonnes. Okay, so if we go ship design, these are 80, 85 or 850 tonnes. So we could easily get like 35 of these. Okay, let's build... See, we already built six, so let's build 18. We're still under our tonnage. If you guys would like a uh, destroyer named after you, let me know. Uh, but right now, there's so many of them being built, like, it's not, it's not really going to be easy for me. Or, like, I'm not going to go through and name all of them unless you guys want me to. Um... Let's go Catania. Um, Taranto. And Gata. All right. Kind of like Indomito, to be honest. Some of these actually have pretty cool names. Alright, so somebody wants a calzone. Let's go. Let me see what we got. Hoss, I actually like that. Also, have how's it going? Uh, Cine, I got you. Corleone. All right, that seems to be all the names at the moment. So we're going to hold off. Okay, so we're starting to build some ships. I, I actually would like to build... Uh, how much tonnage do we have left? We have less than 30,000 tons. So let's just say 20,000 tons. So 20,000 tons. Let's take a Justizia. Justizia. I don't know how it's pronounced. But uh, we're going to, these are 3,700 tons apiece, and I said we had 20,000 tons, so let's go ahead and build some of these. So, let's go six. That, did I do my math right? Yes, I did. I did the math correct in my head, boys. I did. I did a thing. So we're going to build six more cruisers as well. And just start spamming these smaller vessels. Our cruisers are extremely strong. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about those. Um, they're going to take a little bit longer to build. And we're going to have these all in their own little thing. And we'll put them in Barry. But basically we're just trying to get to a point where we can have our ships in multiple theaters. To protect our shipping lanes so that we don't run into this issue anymore. So, all the little ships. Veloci? That's actually not bad. Alright. Uh, I'll get you one of those. Let me see. We got Cine. Let's go with... Gotcha. And then Stung is saying one of the new cruisers should be... 
Thickamus. Got you. All right. Um, now, we do need to start looking at, uh, like, see, it is 1901 currently. So we need to look at our Leonardo da Vinci class battleships and potentially look into a refit design. Um, our Imperator class and j all of these need to potentially get their redesign as well. So let's try to do that. So, Leonardo da Vinci, view the class. Alright, let's go for a refit. And see what we got here. We got the induced boilers, we've got the, we get, we've got anti-barbet 2, or anti-flash 2. Harvey armor, anti-torp 1. Um, Citadel 1, Anti-Flood, Reinforced Bulkheads, that's all fine. We're built for max AP, we're shooting SAP. Standard shell size, Ballastite is fine. Gun Cotton, also fine. Enhanced Reloading, Advanced Hydraulics, uh, Coincidence, Rangefinder, please. Let's go ahead and jump up there. Other than that, I think we are basically maxed on this class. So we could add just a little bit of armor, I guess. It's never going to be a bad thing. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to mess around and desert you. Never going to make you cry. Never going to tell you lies. Alright, we'll do that. So that adds a little bit more survivability to these things. I like it. We'll refit them when we get a chance. No rush, though. Yeah, if we can get some subs, that'll be great. But right now, we don't actually have them. What up, Clayton? Got to research them first. Uh, this game, I think it goes for like $30 nowadays. I'm not 100% sure. I bought it way back in the day when it was first being uh, worked on and way before pre-alpha. Uh, so I got it a lot like dirt cheap. But but yeah, nowadays I think it goes for like $30 on Steam. What up, Puddin? <laughs> Alright, so we got that. We've got... I just want to tell you how I'm feeling, hoping you will understand. I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down. Let's view our heavy cruisers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the subs I haven't actually got a chance to use much of either, to be honest. Uh, we've had a lot of issues over over the time. Let's go with anti-flash. We've got Harvey armor. Uh, Multi-expansion steam engine. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. We do have hydraulic steering. Um, double hull, reinforced anti-flood. That's all normal. Um... We're built for AP. We've got semi-armor piercing. Uh, let's go with the ballastite and gun cotton. Advanced hydraulic, enhanced reloading. We've got 17-inch torpedoes. And let's move out to coincidence range finders. And with all of that, uh, do we have new funnels that we can use? So we do seem to have something. I don't know if we'll be able to. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's too big. Too big. And this is air intake funnel extra large, which is what this is. So doesn't look like we can change that, unfortunately. So I guess we just go with a little bit more armor.
All right, that'll do it. What up, DJ? How's it going? Navy XDF. Cody with a K. Good to see you, Jacob. This game is uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is a game where you get to design and build your ships from the ground up, essentially. Um, and you take them in to fight literally anybody. You can play as one of, I want to say it's like eight different major nations. Um, and like I, I really do enjoy it. I really do. It's got a lot of issues, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of little bugs and stuff, but they're currently working on those. Um, so keep that in mind. All right, where were we? We've got these light cruiser, Justitia. Let's go ahead and... Oh, don't delete, don't delete, don't delete. Don't delete it, Spartan. You've done that in the past. Don't do it. It's a PC game where you get to build your own ships and take them into battle. It's a lot of fun. All right. How are we looking? So we've got the mine layers. We can add coincidence rangefinders here. Got the semi-armor piercing, ballastite, gun cotton, enhanced reloading's fine. Let's go with the anti-flash 2. Uh, we do have Harvey armor now, so that'll make our armor even more effective. Wait, did that just change the look of the ship? Hold that thought. Like, if we were to go... Okay, it doesn't. For a second, I thought the texture of the ship changed with the uh, type of armor you were using. I was like, when did they add this? It's crazy. Nah, it's all good. All right, I think that's everything for now. So now I would like to add something to the ship. We can't add a lot. What do we want to go? What's our current speed? Current speed is 21 knots. It's fine. So I guess we add a little bit of uh, belt armor maybe. Dude, we can get 5-inch belt all the way around. Like, that's almost maxed belt armor. Uh, light cruisers can only have 6 inches of armor. So the fact that we've got almost 6 inches of armor all the way around the, the belt is fantastic. Um, we're right up against our limit, though. So that'll be probably the max that we can do there. Maybe we could add a little bit of superstructure armor. Yeah, there we go. Save that design. That'll work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't want to do that. What up, Dreamcast? How's it going? Got Nebraska? Nice. All right. So that should be all of those that we need to do right away. Um, research is coming along slowly because we can't pump any money into it because we're hemorrhaging money like crazy. We're right on the limit of our shipbuilding capacity.
All right, let's keep it uh, keep it rolling. Do we have anybody back? We do have two battleships here. Let's send you guys into the Western Mediterranean, please. And you guys will be on a protect mission. We should also have a battleship here. Um, is it just being commissioned? What, what's going on there? So, Leonardo da Vinci class, we have these two ready to go. These guys are at Gaeta, they're moving out. Cecilia is at sea currently. Then we have these guys being worked on. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, next turn. What up, Zach? How's it going? Um, Navy, all of the all of the merch that's on the store um, is controlled by by Teespring. As far as I know, they ship worldwide for most of their product. I don't know though that everything is like some of it is specific to certain countries. Like some of it is only available in Europe. Some of it's only available in the U S not a hundred percent sure that all of them are able to ship everywhere, but I do know that they do ship all around the world. Uh, they have, uh, like contractors in Europe that, that print the stuff over there. They have contractors in the U S so the shipping times when they do decide to, to print it, isn't that bad. Um, once they, once they get it printed and stuff, but, but yeah, as far as I know, they do ship pretty much everywhere. Uh, we lost seven transports in the Baltic Sea. Okay. The British Empire has dissolved due to economic collapse? We starved them out? Wait, what? <laughs> Well, that's an unexpected freaking thing. They're gone. What up, Noriko? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, the British are just gone. I didn't see that coming. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Um, speaking of economic collapse, we've still got to get on to the uh, other side of ours. Uh, but that's going to make it a lot easier for us to get, like, recovered, because now all we're doing is fighting the Russians. And let's be honest, that's not a war that's going to go in their favor. Actually, we'll leave you on C control. Um, finances, we're up to 47%. It's going to take time to rebuild that, but... I think we can do it. Um, fleet, how are we doing? Our DDs are not ready yet, but we're getting closer. All right, well, next turn. Next turn. Yeah, I can't claim the territory, man. That's bullcrap. So I'm going to have to do, like, naval invasions to grab territory that's been uh, given up. 
And I'm not exactly sure how well that's going to work. United States and China fighting. Interesting. We didn't lose any transports this time. You'll love to see that. So that's going to allow us to grow pretty quickly there. We're back up to 62%. We're starting to clamp down on that budget a little bit. A little bit. Um, let's go ahead and drop this even more. Drop that if we can. It's still not much. It's a race against the clock of whether or not we can get ourselves uh, up to a point where we can sustain ourselves. It really is. Um, but the Russians, the Russians are an issue. There's still a lot of British ships out there, even though the, the country itself has dissolved. Let's send these guys up here. We have friendly ports here with the Germans, so let's try to influence the Baltic a little bit. Otherwise, we're going to continue to try to uh, deal with these guys. don't have to worry about the Arabian Sea at the moment so let's pull these guys out get them into the Red Sea set everybody to sea control please how you looking you're fine because you're within range of your port so that's great um, also, we don't really need you here, so let's have you go north. We'll have you go up here. Okay. The full-out offensive against the uh, Russians is about to begin. Now that we can just go straight into dealing with the Russians. This should give us a pretty ideal opportunity. This is a Leonardo da Vinci class battleship. The fact that France managed to grab this territory is kind of annoying because that means they could end up with all of Spain at some point. France is OP with their armies, man. For reals. Like, legitimately OP. Their navy sucks. Their armies are just ridiculous. All right. I think that's all we can do at the moment. Uh, maybe move one into the Black Sea by itself, see what happens. Anybody just hanging out here? We got a couple of heavy cruisers. And some light cruisers. Um... Send you over to the Western Mediterranean, please. And then we've got all of these guys.
start to send you guys out as well. All right, so we've got Kaiser, Derek, and their cruiser escorts. I'm going to send you guys over to Asia. Because our smaller craft will be able to patrol in this area, but our bigger craft, we need to use them to extend our operational range. That's the goal, anyway. We do have Mongolia on, you know, on our side. We're up to an army force of 1742. Let's look at the politics situation. Because I didn't see that the British were about to collapse in the last episode. They were one of the most ridiculously like high GDPs in the game. So how did they collapse? Like that's legitimately terrifying. And the United States is gaining, I mean, they're up to $66 billion GDP already. They have 310 ships, 32 battleships, 76 heavy cruisers, 97 light cruisers. They're currently capable of producing how much oil? Oil production is 57,000 barrels per capita. Good Lord. Okay, so yeah, U.S. is going to be an issue. Go figure. Finance wise, I mean, we're hanging in there for now, but we're we're pushing it. We're like right on the edge of destruction. What up, giraffe? How's it going? Rory, good to see you. Uh, my best game ever, I believe, is uh, the Montana game where I put up like two hundred eighty nine thousand damage. Had the Montana record for a little while. I think that's my best game ever. Um, I do have a higher XP game than that. That was in the Turpets. Um, and that, that was over 4,000 base XP in the Turpets. We lost in the Baltic Sea. We lost nine transports. Okay. Not ideal. Finances. How are we looking? We're at minus 24 million still. Golly, man. This is ridiculous. Uh, we've got 30,000 tons worth of uh, shipbuilding capacity, roughly, or a little less, 25,000 tons. So we can do some refitting, potentially. We're at 63% on the shipbuilding, or the transport capacity, though. Okay, so let's look at our light cruisers. We currently don't have anybody that can take that because they're all away, aren't they? Yeah, I think they got to be in port to refit them. Can go ahead and do that. Proceed. That puts us over our cap, though. It's alright, because we're only a couple of months out from finishing some of these destroyers. So we'll be okay. Uh, plus the... Yeah, it's only going to take two months total for these guys. Okay. Next turn. We really need to get the, uh, the Russians to attack us. So they're currently winning just based on sinking transports, which is stupid. Yuga's in Illinois. Nice. Okay, we didn't lose any new transports, so that's good. We currently have people operating in the Black Sea now.
Let's move these guys down in here and see if we can't get them to attack. Um, how are we looking? 3.2 billion dollars, so we're growing again. Our monthly balance is starting to, to get a little bit more manageable. We might just pull this off. We're back up to 76%. We can build our uh, build onto our shipyard, so we're going to do that. We might just survive. <laughs> Only just. Yeah, I know you need like 10 Leonardo da Vinci class battleships in one place to invade, but you also need more than that. You need like 300,000 tons in order to sustain the invasion. All right, here we go. We got a we got a fight with the Russians. Heavy cruiser, a couple of torp boats versus our heavy cruisers and light cruisers. That's perfect. I'll take that fight. I shall take that fight. All right, so we are going south. Perfect. Let's make sure these guys follow us. Turn that off. Turn that off. These are going to be a tight formation. We're going to make sure that we're shooting AP. And speed up time. Well, that, they're close. So there's that. Come on, boys. Do our crew training right now is down to cadets because we have not been able to keep our crew training maximized. That is so unfortunate. This could end poorly, actually. I still believe in our, our ships. But yeah, if this is any any like idea of what we've got in terms of crew, we're going to be struggling. But I need to win this battle so that I can... like potentially end this war to stay alive. See, it's trying to freaking run. I didn't want to run. So AI doesn't work all the time. Hopefully we're able to catch up to them. They're definitely running away, which is annoying. Like, we should be able to catch up to that heavy cruiser, at least. Like, at very minimum. But it's not going to let us. to the southeast yeah they just ran away go figure and he's he's damaged he's damaged and he's only capable of 19.9 knots and he's still outrunning us 
That's so dumb. They got to fix that. They got to fix the AI's ability to run away. Like, if you are not capable of outrunning us, you should not be able to outrun us. Let alone outrun us while damaged. It makes no sense. Nice, Yuga. Still losing $21 million per turn. We're up to 75% on the transport fleet growth. Dude, everybody else has so much money compared to us except China. Where are the Russians? I would like to definitely engage this fleet because that would end the war most likely. So let's try to do that. Our first batch of destroyers is coming online. They're going to be in Messina, so they're one month out. I've got to pull this back a little bit. Like we're still going to be growing. But I've gotta I've gotta start trying to get some money. This is insane. Like we're gonna run out of money. Okay, we have managed to, to at least get it into a fight with a couple of them. We also have dug into the budget a little bit. This guy's only capable of 19 and a half. These guys are likely to run, so I'm just going to auto-resolve this battle and hope for the best. Heavy damage to these guys. We got medium to a light cruiser. Fair enough. Here we go. This is what I was hoping for. So we managed to get these guys to fight us. That's going to be huge. And we've got all these guys here. And these guys actually have good crews. So. Should be, should be one of those where we actually do okay.
Uh, yeah, you're not wrong, Lances, but at the same time, I can do stuff if we're under peace that allow me to shrink uh, the budget quite a bit by putting everybody into limited and so on and so forth. Like, we can shrink the budget quite a bit, plus our transports won't be getting blown up, so we'll be able to grow our GDP quickly enough to, to get us out of it, hopefully. But yeah, you're not wrong. Plus, we can scrap some of our older ships if we have to. Like, there, there's a lot that we can do. Okay, these guys are actually damaged. That's not ideal. Okay, I want you guys to join this group. I want you guys to follow these guys. I want you guys to follow these guys. I want everybody to turn their stupid collision off. I want everybody shooting AP. Tight formation. And we want to go to the south. Fair enough. Degali, you are leading the charge. Make it a good one. I am worried about these guys being damaged, but at the same time, I can't I can't afford to We're already engaging. Holy crap. We're already hitting too. I think that torpedo boat's dead. Switch targets. I'm worried about this, I'm not gonna lie. What the hell? No, what? What are you doing? I have no idea what just happened. Why, why did my fucking ships just decide to double back on themselves and then potentially put themselves in stupid- Why are you do- What are you doing?! STOP! Why is this a thing? Why are you in a fucking follow for me? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Why does this keep happening? Why is it switching into follow for no fucking reason? Dude, we're gonna lose our fucking light cruisers because of this shit. There goes Eurydice. Unfucking believable, dude. Dude, they've got to work on the fucking fleet mechanics in this fucking game, man. There goes Confianza. Again! Like, we lose two fucking ships because the game just decides it wants to fucking make these follow something back there. Instead of maintaining the front fucking line. This is a fucking mess. God dang it, man. 
And we're about to lose another fucking light cruiser because of this horse shit. We haven't sank a single fucking ship yet. There goes the fucking torpedo boat. What is our fucking battleships doing now? God dang it, man! What is the point of putting you motherfuckers in a goddamn formation if you're just gonna fuck off and do whatever the fuck you want? I am gonna lose my fucking mind. I am actually gonna lose my goddamn mind. My battleships are just like, no, I'm gonna drive straight up in there and get torpedoed into fucking oblivion. Get flash fires all over the fucking place because I can't fucking just take a simple goddamn order of following my motherfucking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually lose my shit. So this is the shit that they've gotta fix in this fucking game, man. They, they, this is basic shit. This game is fully released with all fucking bugs and shit supposedly being fucking worked on, and yet simple shit like this. Where I tell them to follow these motherfuckers, I tell these guys to follow the other guys, and my guys decide, no, I'm gonna decide to try to follow these guys and fuck the whole formation up, and they just start sailing straight into the middle of the goddamn fucking enemy fleet. It's fucking stupid. God, that shit pisses me the fuck off. Like, that shit should not fucking happen this far into the development of the game. And then these guys are just fucking sitting here with their fucking thumbs up their ass because they've lost all their goddamn fucking engines and shit. Getting torn to pieces because of their own fucking stupidity. They can't just fucking follow a goddamn order. The simplest fucking order on the planet. Follow the ship in front of you. How fucking difficult is that? Look, they, they still fucking can't do it. They fucking still refuse to just take a simple fucking order to follow the fucking ship that's in front of you. Get rid of that fucking battleship. Let me guess, you can't even aim at the motherfucker because you're listing so fucking hard, right? He also has fucking torpedoes, so you know he's gonna fucking torp us. the torp and it's a hit and a flood I think he's dead
Focus the other battleship. Got an ammo detonation on him. Down he goes. Focus this little turd. Okay, focus this battleship. This guy managed to survive, so we gotta fucking go back to trying to focus him down. Give me everything you got, battleships. I know it's not much. We just took a nasty hit on Ezio Auditore. Assuming from this guy. Alright, battleships, focus the battleship. Surely you can hit him. There's a flood. Hopefully that's the end of him. Focus that battleship, please. heavy cruiser. Torpedo detonation. Got double flood on him. More flooding. Degali is okay. Keep it going. Go ahead and double back real quick. Those battleships should be able to finish off that battleship. Down goes the battleship. Everybody else just find a fucking target and start shooting it. And Tagali just took another tort or another, another flooding hit. got this stupidity going on because they're just running into each other.
Dude, the AI in this fucking game is so incredibly stupid that it's unbelievable at times. Like, it actually is unbelievable. Look at them. They, they can't fucking follow simple shit like get in a goddamn formation. This is what happens when you turn down the crew training on your fucking nation, apparently. Everybody becomes a fucking bumbling idiot. Oh, man. Shima only has uh, 15 torpedoes, but I know what you mean. I say only. It's as if 15 freaking torpedoes dealing 23,000 damage apiece isn't, isn't enough. After almost fucking uninstalling this game at the beginning of the fucking battle, we pulled this shit back and we absolutely dominated. The fact that we lost anybody in this fight is fucking infuriating. The fact that we didn't lose everybody is fucking a miracle. 21,000 victory points for us, 2,600 for them, 29 vessels sank, they're gonna be suing for peace after this, for sure. For sure. So, we'll see how that goes. Also, how's it going, Flatlined? Giraffe, good to see you guys. Ah, oh, the Soviet Union would like peace. Who could have seen that coming? It was a clusterfuck, but it was our clusterfuck. And at the end of the day, that means something. All right, we're we're only losing 16 million per turn right now. So there's that. We are up to a GDP of 3.8 billion dollars again. We're at 86% of our transport capacity. We have made no progress here whatsoever. Uh, we are well over our limit here. Next turn, let's see how it ends. The balloon was shot down? Okay. Figured they would once it got out of a place where it could potentially do damage. Oh, by the way, you guys were correct. It was, in fact, a... Um, there was, in fact, a train derailment last night while we were on stream in Ohio. It hadn't made the news yet, but yeah, it was definitely there. Massive explosion, big fireball, like crazy. Like 50 cars on a train derail. War continues. Great. More chance for us to ruin the, the Russians' day. 
Heavy cruiser, torpedo boat versus our two four-inch light cruisers. I'll take that. Yeah, the, the train derailment was, was crazy. Like I said, when people mentioned it last night on stream, I had no idea. Like, it wasn't on the news here. I even looked it up, and it wasn't in the news, like the local news. But, uh, yeah, today I, I saw it, man. It's freaking gnarly. It's all the way out on the border of Pennsylvania and Ohio, though. Like, it's way out east um, from where I'm at. So I'm, I'm a long ways from it, but it just I didn't even know it was a thing. All right, so uh, northwest, tight. Okay. AI seems to be zeroed in on them this time, so we'll see if it stays that way. We're close enough that they're not able to run fast, hopefully. Come on, Uranus. We believe in you. Find and remove the enemy. At all cost. Preferably at no cost. Okay, we've been spotted. The engagement is about to commence. We have found the enemy torpedo boat or destroyer. Would you like to hit him, please? Okay, can we hit him? There we go. Continue to shoot that little turd, please. Let's see how long the heavy cruiser lasts versus our light cruisers. Owie? Enough of that shit. Yeah, I think these four inch cruisers have outserved their purpose. You guys could hit the target, it'd be great. That was your only torpedo, genius. Well done. Now you die. Nariko coming in with a 2CHF. For Ezio, his epic carry like an assassin.
Dude, this little fucking turd refuses to die. Yeah, I think it's time to retire these 4-inch cruisers, boys. These guys are definitely not as effective as they used to be. We need more kaboom! Okay, down he goes. Now run this little turd over. Uranus has lived a long and storied career, been through many, many battles, and it seems today there is a new hashtag trending, hashtag save Uranus. What up, Gramps? How's it going? Dude, could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine? If we could, if we were a big enough channel that we could get hashtag save Uranus to, uh, to trend. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Alright, so, uh, we did, Neptune only did 877 damage. Uranus carrying hard is all I'm saying. 7800 damage done by Uranus. Absolutely fantastic. That's what I'm saying. These four-inch cruisers have, have outserved their purpose. Remember, these are the originals. They've just been upgraded over time. Like These are our original light cruiser design. Four-inch guns and all. Here's to Uranus being a pain in the enemy's ass for many years through the engagements. Yeah, you're not wrong. What up, Sandor? Good to see you. Alex, good to see you. Appreciate you guys dropping in. If you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you punch that like button. Do appreciate it. Uh, they are definitely wanting some Primo Victro class destroyers. I would like to. Let's see if the game allows it. Nope, trade error again. So apparently they've broken trading between our minor allies because we're not allowed to. We've got the tonnage to do it. The game just won't allow it. We're still, we're, we're very close to breaking even now. So there's at least that. Uh, transport capacity is coming up. Ninety-five percent. Nice. What up, no name? How's it going? Yep, I've heard about it. I've heard about the balloon. Now we get to go find the debris and scoop it up and see what they were doing. Yeah.
Yeah, it was just one of those one of those uh, lanterns that they use at those uh, at, at certain Chinese funerals, where they just all put the lanterns up. That's all it was. That's all it was. All right. Let's try to uh, keep this party rolling here. Where, where are we at? We're finally making money, boys! All the monies! Holy... Sh By the skin of our teeth, we have somehow managed to come back. Okay, that's, that's a little much. Let's pop this down a hair. We can, we can survive a minus $2.8 million deficit. Call it feels good to have money again, boys. Well, the, again, the thing that I'm, I'm wondering is why they're using a balloon. Like, it's, it's got to be some sort of misdirection or a test of our capabilities. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I find it very difficult to believe that it's nothing. Like, we know it's a spy balloon, but why would they use a balloon rather than a satellite? You know what I'm saying? They have satellites capable of doing basically anything that the weather balloon was, was doing. So I don't understand why they would do that. Like, they're, they're obviously trying to test either their own equipment, maybe they have some sort of uh, spoof on there or something that they're trying to interfere with our own electronic uh, capabilities. So as they fly over specific bases, maybe they were trying to look for, like, any... whether they were able to spoof radar or something like that. Like, I could see it being some sort of equipment test um, for them or for us. They're trying to see what we're capable of before they do something incredibly stupid like attack Taiwan. Because we've already said that we're, we're going to defend Taiwan if China decides that it wants to go that route. Whether we actually live up to that is a whole other ballgame. But the United States has said that they will defend Taiwan. So... If, if China's looking to go get Taiwan, which, th let's be honest, they are. Because they don't consider Taiwan their own independent uh, nation. And the United States has actively said that we will defend it. So the, the Chinese, if they really do want to go after Taiwan, they're going to have to contend with the U.S. In theory. Make sure we're shooting AP, please. These are our 5-inch cruisers. This SAP much more effective than the 4-inch. And we want to keep our distance because we should be able to easily tear this thing up from distance. As we've already removed half his ability to float. Archangel Ural, huh? Interesting. Well, unfortunately, you're no longer here. Bye. Yeah, so the way, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll explain why you were correct in the way that the research works, but I'll also explain why you were incorrect uh, and why it is a good idea to prioritize specific things. So I'll get into it. This is, this is actually something that I enjoy about this game.
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Our our SAP is disgusting. Um, and that was 5-inch SAP. The 4-inch guns have outlived their, their service life. The 5-inch guns are devastating. Against everything. And then anything bigger than that is just honestly ridiculous. Okay, so let's let's take a look. So research. So the way the research works, you have a certain amount of funding going into research, and it is split between every one of these things that is currently being looked at at all times. You have priorities. Each time you click a priority, you take funding away from everything to put into that thing. And the more priorities you have active, the more funding you're pulling away from everything to put into each one of these things. So if, if I were to use all three of my priorities, it pulls all the funding away from, every, or not all of it, but it pulls more funding away from everything else to prioritize these things. The maximum benefit to get out of this would be to put one priority on a specific skill and allow that thing to progress at the maximum rate that you can get it and let everything else progress at a slightly slower rate than it normally would, but better than if you would use multiples. The way I do this is I look at categories that are progressing quickly, and I, I speed those things up. Or I go after specific tech that I want, specifically like range finders or hull engineering, which allows us to get ba bigger battleship hulls. Uh, range finders allows us to hit targets. Control station allows us to spot enemies and torpedoes from further away. Hull protection, internals protection, stuff like that. Boilers giving us the engine. So like we alternate our priorities based on what we need at the moment. And right now we're looking at getting a 8,000 ton heavy cruiser. So that finishes next month. We're also trying to get deck mounted torpedo tubes in the near future. So we're trying to speed this up. Uh, internal protection is almost done. That'll be wing tanks coming. We're behind schedule on that by quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and speed that up. Get that done in two months instead of eight months. If you manage these properly, if, if you manage, you're not going to be that far behind. You'll be behind in some techs that you don't use these on. But more often than not, you, you, if you're managing it properly, you'll be able to finish these techs slightly faster um, than you would have normally gotten them. So that's why I, I use the priorities. And you'll see that by the by the two or by the uh, 1910s, we should be technologically advanced compared to everybody else. If you utilize your, your priorities correctly, you will be technologically advanced. All right, so we're at 115 percent there. We are losing some uh, money, so let's drop our crew training down just a little bit. We want to make sure that we're getting some money here. Um, finances, how are we looking? We have tonnage to play with, so let's go ahead and go in here. Our light cruisers with the four-inch guns, uh, you've already been gone, so we're going to actually end up scrapping them. Let's go ahead and refit our five-inch guns that we can. Um, we don't currently have anybody in the Eastern Mediterranean and we do have a little bit here. Our power projection In the Western Mediterranean isn't there. It's not ideal. We do have our first group of six, so let's bring you guys over to Eastern Mediterranean, please. And in the Black Sea, we are currently much higher power projection up here, so we're good there. In the Red Sea, we currently have the power projection there, with the exception of the French and the Spanish, even though the Spanish don't exist anymore. Interesting enough. Okay. 
how big is this fleet? What are, what are we looking at in terms of size of the fleet? Not enough. Okay, so one thing I would like to do is start to look at staging a naval invasion. We've got our four light cruisers up here operating in East Asia. So let's go head this direction. All right. I think we're good. Uh, actually, I lied. Where are we at in terms of ref? Uh, we got thirty thousand tons, or almost forty thousand tons that we can upgrade. So let's go ahead and do that. If we can. Our DDs have officially come into being, so let's go ahead and put them on C control, please. And that's a Catania, Toronto, or Taranto, Taranto, and Gata. Good to know. Okay. Um, I guess we go next turn. Why is every every ship named after you has a dumb weird fate? You gotta love it. Um, Sandor, the difficulty has mostly to do with your enemies more than anything. So it gives the enemies more money. Okay, we have officially signed peace, so we're going to have to, uh, whoops, okay, let's go for Kazakhstan, and Uzbekistan, so we get Uzbekistan, but we don't get, god dang it. All right, so we now have like all the stands are here, right? So where is Kazakhstan? Yeah, we didn't get anything over there. All right. Where am I missing? It's Ukraine. There's Uzbekistan. Ah. Hey! Wait. What? We we got we got Uzbekistan. Dang it. I forgot. Okay, so we've got this. Doesn't give us crap. Go figure. Is there at least army behind it? Not really. Okay. Well. It's money. It gives us forty million dollars 
per turn. So there's that. Would have liked to have gotten Kazakhstan. I really want that. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep pushing for that in the future. Or southern Russia. But I think we have to take that with a uh, land army and good luck with that. Okay, let's get everybody home real quick. Move you out of the Black Sea. Go to Taranto. Okay, you move to Messina. Actually, no, you're fine. Move to here. You move to Messina. Have two battleships there. Okay, and then we got these guys heading out. These guys are going to go here. Go here. What we're going to do is we're going to get ready to stage a naval invasion over here if we can. Okay. All right. So for the meantime, I think that's that. We are still coming through here. Um... Drop this down a little bit further. We're up to 123% there. Our GDP should be coming back up. We're at 9.6 billion again. Love to see it. Uh, if we go to fleet, we can actually set everybody to... Limited. That should save us quite a bit of money, too. So we're still losing $12 million per turn, but we've got plenty for the moment. All right, next turn. Kick Germany out of uh, Ukraine. I'm not ready to make an enemy with a friend at the moment, all right? Let's hold off on that. Um, and if we do make an enemy with a friend, it's going to be the Austro-Hungarians first. Like, we will straight up at some point go after the Hungarians, or the Austrians. The government asks your opinion on, uh, on submarines. You believe they are extremely limited in their operational usefulness, therefore there is no need to invest more on submarines. Submarine is a very promising weapon that will revolutionize naval tactics. We must fund more our submarine development. It's actually good, but I don't want to lose GDP. So I'm going to say that there's nothing, because I'm not losing GDP over this. <laughs> Romania would like to order two Primo Victoro class destroyers. Fair enough. Let's check our politics real quick. Because I feel like people are poking us. Who's poking us? We've got the U.S., the French, the British. The British are back. Hey, look at that. The British are back, guys. And they've got fleet or 50, 50 ships again already. With a $20 billion GDP. With one god dang province. How? Up here. Right? No. Where is the British province? That they've got a freaking $50 billion GDP. And these guys are very advanced too, somehow. So 
Seriously, where is the British, like, province? Am I missing it? Yarmouth? Ah! Okay, so they've got, they've got part of Italy. That makes sense. Or they've got part of, part of Italy. Part of England. Interesting. Well, I mean, in theory, that should allow them to have a, a foothold that allows them to potentially go back over and conquer the rest of their island. Less than ideal, if I'm honest. Finance-wise, we're losing 12 million per turn still. Uh, in three months, we finish, what, Torpedo Launcher Mark IIs. That finishes in three months. We did just finish that, so we get rid of that. Still speeding up the cruiser design. Still working on... I want to go boilers, I think. Try to get that going. Maneuver warfare. What do we got here? Crew training doctrine 2. That would actually be a good idea. But we get that in seven months. I'm not too worried about speeding it up. Let's go ahead and start refitting all the ships. Okay. Waiting for everybody to move around to get to their ports that I've sent them to. All right, next turn, I believe. What up, Benjamin? How's it going? You can't defeat the British, and I'm Scottish-Irish, which is saying something. So what you're saying is, your your family history against the British has led you to believe that the British are unbeatable. Interesting. You're also German. So you're Scottish-Irish, oh, and German. Well, I mean, in fairness, we didn't attack the British. They attacked us, and we whooped that ass, as we always do. And then they dissolved because of it. So we didn't even get our freaking Gibraltar that I wanted. So yeah, you can be damn sure that I'm going to eventually be trying to take my stuff. The U.S. is trying to strengthen, uh, on a line, or strengthen him whatever you want to call it, improve our relations with the U.S. Finances, we're still losing money, but we're getting up there with our transport capacity again, so that's good. Crew training has definitely taken a beating here. We're still losing money. Cruiser design's coming up, boiler's coming up. Uh, our torp tubes finishes in two months. Fleet, though... I didn't look where we at, 32% there, and we got plenty of tonnage, so let's go ahead and try to continue with the whole refitting process. Next turn. What up, stick man? How's it going?
Remember, this is on the hardest difficulty as well. We are literally playing on legendary difficulty. Probably the hardest nation to start at, which is Italy, because we're right up against all the major powers that uh, are just larger in every sense. Plus, on legendary difficulty, they get all the bonuses in terms of research uh, and money and, and troops. And yeah, so we, we are definitely, definitely doing pretty well considering. I think we're doing okay. We currently own 23 provinces. Oh no, the Austro-Hungarians ran into some mines. <laughs> you hate to see it. Syria would like some more destroyers. That's fine. Um, we need all the money we can get right now. Okay, so we still have these guys. The British actually absolved here. We're still heading over here. They're almost to port. So we need a hundred thousand to initiate a naval offensive. I don't think we can take it. I honestly don't think that we can actually do that because it's not a major power. Like, I don't think we can actually invade this. So I don't know how that's going to work. What up, Robert? How's it going? What up, Florent? Appreciate you dropping in. Politics side of things. Um, I think we officially start to uh, look at the Austro-Hungarian Empire as a potential enemy. They only have 27 ships. Their standing army is what? 1.3 million? God dang, how does everybody have so many freaking people? But how of that army, how many are here? We got... 58,000 there, 58,000. Like, we should, in theory, be able to just, like, initiate a major offensive here, if we were allowed. Like, I feel like they're not as strong as, as they think. I feel like they've got other nations, provinces that are... are poking into that total. I don't know which ones, but I feel like that's probably what's going on. So, I think the Austro-Hungarians are, we're going we're gonna to start poking. Um, except it won't let me poke them. I can't cancel the alliance. How can we cancel an alliance? Like, I should be able to cancel the alliance with the Austro-Hungarians.
Yeah, they've got many, many nations, small allies. We have a few of our own. They are currently allied with us in Germany. Hmm. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. We'll find a way. Oh, yes, we will find a way. All right, what what I say we were? 31,000 tons, so we actually have some room. Uh, everybody should be in their respective places, so let's make sure that everybody's getting refitted. Okay, let's get rid of this. See, here's the thing. Like, I don't know. I feel like it lets people go backwards. In, like, you shouldn't be able to refit to a previous thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we look at our fleet, our light cruisers that we just built, where are you at? So these are the new, the new light cruisers. What are they? They are currently of the highest. Okay, so these guys actually got refitted to the highest thing. Right, so that's 1901-3. Okay, so that's actually huge. So, yeah, so we don't have to keep the older design around. Like, they, we can refit these guys straight up to this. That's good. That's 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 what I was worried about. All right, so the Imperator, have we not increased these guys? Like, I thought we did. 1898 or four. So, yeah, we haven't refitted our battleships. But I think we were phasing these guys out, weren't we? I think we were. How many currently do we have of these battleships? Imperator class battleships. So we currently have six of them. So do we bother upgrading them? I think we do. I think we do. All right, let's go ahead and let's give them another another iteration. Another chance at life. My account name went from TJ Blades to Parallax to this. Nice. All right, let's do a refit here. See what we can do for these things. So we've got Barbet Anti-Flash 2. Um, we can go to Harvey Armor. Got the double hull already. We've got the anti-flood, the citadel. We've got max AP. We've got semi-AP, ballastite, and gun cotton. Advanced hydraulic, enhanced reloading, and let's go to coincidence rangefinder. And that still leaves us a little bit of weight to play with. Uh, can we get some more engine efficiency out of these? We could. Let's throw another one of these in here. And then uh, maybe give it a little bit of speed. That's what I thought. So 19.8. Seems to be, like, right at the sweet spot. So these guys will be a lot more efficient, a lot more speedy. And they also should be more useful. They are using 5-inch casemates, so that's good. I think we're good to go on this. That'll be a solid refit for him. We also went, we're upgrading the rangefinder. 
So he should be more accurate as well. It's not that I let them survive. It's that their entire, like, their nation dissolved, so I could no longer attack their freaking fleet, so their fleet that was out and about still survived. All right, so let's go ahead and refit these guys if we can. Get them into port. These guys are still underway, heading that direction. Move in there. We've got light cruisers there. Who are the French currently at war with? Are they at war with anybody? The French are currently at war with the Americans and the Japanese. Fair enough. Hmm. Downside is, that's not using any of their main army, and if we try to take this back now, that army is just going to roll over top of us. Because they currently have 276,000 men here. 400,000 there. Four hundred thousand there, five hundred thousand there. It's just so freaking big. Twenty-six thousand, hundred and fifteen thousand, hundred twenty-nine thousand. This is Portugal, its own state. <sighs> Meanwhile, the British are just East England currently. Three hundred and fifty-six thousand men, though. Good lord. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's put you guys. Back, please. Finances, 36%. We're still losing 12 million per turn, but we're okay. All right. Keep it going. Next turn.
down to only losing $10 million per turn. We're at 151% of our transport capacity. We're back up to growing. What is our uh, GDP currently? $10.5 billion. Very nice. Two months until we finish Advanced Small Funnels, which is 18 night. We're so far behind on Boiler Tech. All right, let's turn that off for now for the cruisers. Uh, let's turn the torpedo tubes off for now. Let's work on our next stage of range finders and big guns for now. Okay, shipyard, how we doing? Let's go ahead and refit more of these. All right. Let's pull our. T I don't want to do that. Let's just keep it going. I think we can we can still hold out for a little while on our our budget. I don't want to reduce my my research budget anymore. Set everybody to limited. That's not currently at sea. That helped. Definitely helped. And we can cut away from that a little bit more. Alright, keep it going. Next turn. Peace time goes quick, man. It's nice. Also, I'm not sure if you guys are still in chat. Nobody's typed for a while, so hopefully you guys are still here. Stickman's here. Nariko, Jalen. Sandor, Haas, Todd. Good to see all, but everybody's still here. It just got real quiet in the chat, so I was I was worried. I was worried y'all deserted me. And you know what we do with deserters here? We don't like them. All right, so that finishes next month. What are we getting here? Mark two 13 inch guns. Again, not terrible. Uh, so we'll keep that going. Fair enough. This finishes next month regardless, so let's get rid of that. Um, maybe we go... Small guns? Seems like a good idea. Next turn. Ah, sorry to hear that, Lances. We still need the pizza class 
of ships so that we can name them all after pizza toppings. Fair enough. But there won't be a pineapple. There won't be a pineapple. We already have a pineapple. Which just proves pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Okay. We're making money! Woo! British province? What do you mean? Like they, they have Yarm or they have Eastern England here. That's 356,000 men, though. I mean, we could try to take it. But I'd like to get everybody set up in terms of their... I think we're good. I think we're actually good. All right, let's look at our fleet. Two months out from finishing those. Everybody's in limited at the moment. The only people out are the ones heading to Southeast Asia. But we do still have some people in the Mediterranean. Ah, it's because they haven't made it back to port yet. Fair enough. Okay, so we have quite, quite the fleet ready to go. I mean, we could try. Doesn't hurt to try, right? Let's send you guys up there. What is a total tonnage? It's going to take how many turns? Like three turns? Yeah, three turns. Okay, let's move those guys out. We'll wait for these guys to get here. Actually, we won't. We'll move those guys out. Should have just left them up there. Um, we've got these guys. Send them up here as well. I mean, it does have oil. And it's only one province. So in theory, we should be able to handle it. Hopefully we got enough tonnage. All right. We're on the warpath, boys. We'll, we'll set up and see if we can't go up there and do a naval invasion on uh, eastern England. What up, Hitshot? How's it going? Have a good night there, uh, Stickman. Zach, how's it going? Appreciate you. Too Wicked, good to see you. Uh, you cannot do carriers in this game, and there's no no intention of them actually doing any carriers in this game. So there's that. Alright, next turn. You're Jalen. Nice. Ban Hoss, he likes his pineapple on pizza. 
Well, nobody's perfect, I suppose. <laughs> what up, Ark Royal? Majority in Parliament calls for immediate action against the Soviet Union. What is your reaction? Um... It's necessary for them to attack us. All right. So we're heading up here to pick a fight with Eastern England. So we're not going to we're not going to provoke them right away. We're just going to get up there and then uh, kind of unleash all holy hell on them. Uh, we finished this so we can take that off. Not sure what special machinery we're getting. What's this? Improved turrets. That's actually kind of kind of good. What, what's tech is that? It's 1897, so we're a little behind on that too. Let's finish that. All right, keep it going. Pineapple pizza is your favorite kind of pizza? Haas. Brother. <laughs> nah, it's all good, dude. It's all good. I don't care. The only time I actually... Like, I hated pineapple for so long, but the older I get, the but No, they're starting to try to take other provinces! Alright, now's our time! We need to attack now! Get your butts up to there, to there before they take over these other territories! Sure, you can have some, some destroyers. The British failed to take control of Northern Ireland. That's good. Ireland's repelling the British. All right, can we, uh, we have, we have the thing. Surely we can, we can launch a naval invasion. No, we can't. God dang it. These guys maybe aren't technically here yet, so we'll just wait a little bit longer. But they're sending how many? 357,000 men after uh, ungoverned territory. We can't allow it. We got we to gotta attack now. We, we The time is now, boys. We also got to reduce our freaking tech budget. We're losing money. All right. Um, ship design, let's, I think everybody's ready, as good as they're going to get anyway. These guys haven't quite made it here yet. Alright, next turn. Uh, you, you, you try to take over the world or make allies and, and stuff and just increase your war score, uh, by sinking ships and taking territories and stuff like that. And at the end, like it'll, it'll tell you all of the things that you've done, how much time you spent at war, uh, the amount of total tonnage you sank, all the things. Nice. North Carolina is good, man. Uh, can be trolly at times, but it's very good. Okay, now we should be able to do a naval invasion. Why can I not do a naval invasion? Surely this is over 100,000 tons.
We are making some money. Slowly. We have officially made it there, so let's make sure that everybody that can be refitted has been. Okay. And actually, like this is 72,000 tons, this is another 48,000 tons. I'm not sure. Maybe just because they just got there. Let's send these guys. Like, I know I've got enough naval capacity here that I should be able to initiate. I didn't even look to see how long that would take. It's going to take time, I'm sure. All right, next turn. I'm trying, Noriko. I'm trying. I don't know it's, if it's because they're currently engaged with somebody else that it's not letting me freaking do a Navy invasion. But it's not letting me. It's flat out not letting me do a naval invasion. And I know I got enough tonnage here. Hell, one of these battle or one of these fleets is probably pretty close to enough tonnage. And they're starting to try to go after everybody. We're making money, so that's good. Start to bump this up a little bit. You actually have to be at war. I didn't think you had to be at war to in invade, did you? I thought, I thought the whole point of a naval invasion was to start a war. Well, fuck it. We're going to we're going to war, damn it. It's going to take time. Let's make sure you get done. Make sure you guys get done.
Okay. Uh, the Adagio class battleships. These are 24,000 tons. How much tonnage do we have left? We can build maybe two of them. So let's go ahead and bring in two more of these. It's going to take 19 months. Can't poke them. I didn't know we had to be at war with them. What up, Spadey? How's it going? Yeah, I, I, th I thought the whole point of the naval invasion, like, thing in this game was that you could use it as a preemptive uh, strike. Like, you could provoke a, a war directly by starting a naval invasion. Um... We'll do that. Dude, the fact that we can't do anything about this is really annoying. I really don't want them to get more territory. In other news, we're almost $12 billion in GDP now. So that's a good thing. Research, we're coming along. What do we got here? Mark three two-inch guns. It's not going to help us right away, though our Adagio-class battleship uses some two-inch guns, so not the worst thing. What do we got here? Mine detonators two. Okay. Just keep it going for now. What up, Dark Man? How's it going? What's up, Triple H? Good to see you. See, the thing is, you can't do, like, a naval invasion on, like, ungoverned land. The only way to conquer land is to have a foothold. And the only way we can do it is to go, like, we can't do it against, like, anything other than major nations. So we have to apparently go to war with the British and then do a naval invasion to try to take them. And I think by the time that we get to that point where we're actually able to uh, to fight these, and they're ignoring them. They're, they're like, ah, we, we don't want And the Americans are provoking us directly. Of course they are. And what will happen is these guys will end up winning these invasions, taking back their fucking territory... And then being an absolute pain in the ass. So there's no chance that I actually get that. And then you would think France would be able to take Gibraltar. Because they have that. It's just a fucking mess. It's another one of those situations where I wish I had a little bit more, like, say in the game. Like, I would love to be able to just, like, go straight to war. Just say, straight up, let's go to war with the British. Instead of having to sit here and poke them and then sit there and say, oh, they're ignoring you. Oh, okay, great. Glad they're ignoring me. feel like I have so much influence. All right, these are done in... Ooh, electrical turrets. Okay. Two months for that. Good to know. All right, I think it's. I think we start looking at uh, elsewhere. 
And again, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do to provoke the Austro-Hungarians. Like even though it says we should be able to increase tension or cancel alliance or any of this, but it doesn't give us the option to do any of that. Uh, same for the Germans. Like We can't do anything with that. So it looks like we're stuck with them. So it looks like our real real only options in terms of fights right now is the Americans, the Russians, and the Chinese. The British are just ignoring us. Seventy six percent. What up, Aaron? How's it going? Where are you, A.A. Rhonda? Chinese Empire presented us an ultimatum demanding the extradition of a defector who requests amnesty from our country. The Minister of Justice asks for your advice about this situation. He may... No, we're not, we're not sharing him. Like, if he could potentially give us good things, let's go for it. Screw you. Okay, Scotland, th that's actually big. So Scotland has signed a, a uh, special agreement with us. Okay, I like that. So we know Scotland likes to buy a lot of ships. So hopefully we can do that. Look, they're actively trying to take over three separate territories at the same time. And each one of these has their own, like, the full army. This makes no sense. If they're initiating a freaking three-pronged front against all of these territories, it should split their forces accordingly. They shouldn't be able to use 357,000 men, which is their entire army, on this flank, and this flank, and this flank. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. God dang it. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice, Aquaman prepares a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because he can't do crap. All right. Let's finish cranking this up. We got to start getting some crew as well. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice... Aquaman prepares a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because he can't do crap. All right, what do we got? So this finishes next month regardless. What do we got in terms of explosives? That's the mine detonators coming up. Um, not too worried about that. We could speed up the submarine development. That wouldn't be the worst idea. We also have some cruiser development coming up. Uh, might be one of those deals where we just kind of let things go at this point. That's, that's going to finish. Oh, we want that done. Just get that done. And then everything else, we let it just go normal. What do we got down here? Mine hunter kits. Okay. I don't know. That, that voice is just fun to say. Like, meanwhile... My name is Spartan Elite 43, and welcome back. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> uh, last time on Dragon Ball Z. It's kind of like, uh, if you guys ever watched the, the guy, it's called Your Narrator on YouTube. He's, he's funny as hell, but it's his voice that gets me. Like, I, I don't care about his jokes. His jokes are one thing. His voice, the way he does his voice, because he's constantly doing, like, the, the radio, like, the, the over-accentuated voice. It's like, you gotta kind of talk with the top of your mouth, and you gotta talk like this all the time. We gotta get it, and I, I, I just can't do it. Like, I, I literally can't hold the voice forever. 
Like, you literally have to do that all the time in order to, like, keep that voice. But it's not his normal voice. He has a normal voice, but he, he constantly talks like Thrish and everything that he says. And it's just, da 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 <laughs> God dang, dude. We get it. You're going, you're going harder than last time. Still losing some money, but it's not the end of the world. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, Krillin got his ass kicked. Again. <laughs> All right. How's our fleet looking? Have some repairs. These guys are getting repaired. That's good to know. 16 months out from getting these guys built. Finances. We're at 80% on the new side of things. Politics. The British are just being obnoxious at this point. They're going to end up taking back their island. I mean, I mean, you know. Southern England has an army force of 417,000. So there's that. But they are definitely winning against Northwest England and Wales. Go figure. Alright, that finishes next month. Rangefinders is coming along. We're now a technically behind in technology. Go figure. Now we're average. Navy, welcome to the Spartiates, my dude. Thank you for becoming the newest member on the channel. Let me get some goats in the chat. What up, Atomic? How's it going? That's what I'm saying, Atomic. Like, it has to... Like, we have to be at war with them, apparently. In order to invade. And then on top of that, we have to have a foothold nearby in order to invade, like, ungoverned countries. But I have no way to affect that directly. Like, even if I do, like, down in Africa, where there should be some provinces that the British have lost, we should be able to take those provinces. We should be able to initiate a major offensive and take those provinces for ourselves. So, like, say, for instance, here, British Somaliland. We own Djibouti. We own Mogadishu. We surround them on both sides. I believe we also, I guess these guys are uh, on their own, but we also have uh, Masawa up here. Like, in theory, we should be able to go after this territory and take it for ourselves. But there's no way to do that. There's no way for me to directly affect this. And my freaking AI won't actively do it. Like, this is ungoverned territory we should be able to take. And we own the territory right next to it, so we should be able to take it. Same thing for this. Like, we should actually have gotten this, even though the, the Germans seem to have taken it. Because at one point, they were fighting us, the, the British were. So, like, we should have gotten that. Alright. So, we're technically behind because of all this financial bullcrap that we've run into. We're up to $12 billion in GDP. Our finances are still struggling. I think I'm just going to call these guys home. 
Like, we're not able to get the British to go to war with us. It's not happening. They're refusing to, like, acknowledge us anymore. They're gonna get their territory back by the time that we're able to even initiate an offensive against them. It's really annoying. So I think I'm gonna recall my, uh, ships... Like, I was at war with them when they absol or dissolved. I should have, by default, gotten all of their territory. Or, if there were multiple nations in, at war with them when they dissolved, then it should have gone to some sort of, like, system where whoever had done the most in the war or whatever gets to decide, you know, how much territory they're going to take versus others. Like, they do in literally every other game that's like this. All right. Still can't increase tensions there. Start poking the Soviets, I guess, again. Either way, I'm feeling pretty good about our situation. Considering how dire it was when we started the stream compared to where we're at now, I feel pretty good. We've managed to roughly dig our way out. Enjoy a little bit of peace. We're still struggling financially because we have our fleets out right now. Once we get these fleets back into a port, we should be good on finances. Have a good night, Sandor. Appreciate you dropping in. Excuses. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wait. We're not America. Somebody start singing my, Mar not my Maria, but Maria, the, 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 the one song. Scotland is ordering some Leonardo da Vinci class battleships. There you go. Go for it. The U.S. is trying to improve relations with us. Apparently somebody ordered some of my new Odasia class battleships and I didn't notice. So that's taken up a chunk of our freaking uh, port capacity, unfortunately. That was Scotland. Scotland ordered two of them. Go figure. They ordered an Odasia class and a freaking Leonardo da Vinci class battleship. And Syria has ordered three freaking destroyers. Eighty-eight percent. Once we increase this, like in two turns, then this should be fine. K 
Okay. Research how we coming along. Range finders is coming. We got special machinery and stuff coming. Small guns finished. We can take that off. Let's go ahead and let everything start to speed up again. Okay. Next turn. Yeah, if you guys think that I'm going to try to sing Italian, <laughs> do you honestly think I'm going to piss off all of Italy by trying that? No chance. There's no chance. Like, if I even attempted to try to sing that, I would absolutely be ruined. You'd never hear from me again. All of Italy would come find me. Tomorrow we'd be talking about a freaking Italian weather balloon that has gone against the currents and come all the way over and, and dropped a bomb on me. But don't worry, though. It was just a... Uh, Special military operation. Uh, keep increasing tension with the British, just in case. We're up to $12.7 billion GDP. One more turn, we finish that. France is starting to poke us again. It's not ideal. Dude, France is scary right now. Like, France is legitimately scary right now. Not because of their navy, but because of their army capability and the fact that they are right next door. And if they want us, they're going to annihilate us. All right, let's go ahead and start building the next section. All right, so if we go to fleet, we should be able to put everybody into limited. That should save us money. Now we're making six million per turn. We can start to increase our crew training. Research side of things, we got a new 9,000 ton heavy cruiser coming up. That's actually big. Let's go ahead and get that done. That'll finish next month. Torpedo size, we've got 18 inch torpedoes coming up. Also, wouldn't be a bad idea to get that finished. So let's go ahead and work on that. What is this? Torpedo Protection 2 is also huge. You know what? Slow down that and go with this. I'd rather get this done quicker. Okay. Um, politics. 
who are we actively trying to pursue? Like, we know that the French want to kill us. Like, and they have the means to do it. Well, I say they have the means to do it. They have the armies to do it. Their navy, I'm not scared of. They only have 12 battleships, a bunch of heavy cruisers, light cruisers, destroyers, and torp boats. So, like, I'm not worried about their navy. It's their freaking standing army. They have an army force of 2.1 million people. We have an army force of freaking 200,000. That's the thing that's holding us back, as we just do not have an army. Like, if we look at our population, what is our population? Home state population of 30 million, and we have a 200,000 man standing army. France has a home state population of 58 million and have a 2 million standing army. Like, it's insane. All right. We're not gonna we're not gonna dwell on it. We're gonna keep doing our thing. Uh, the next stage of submarine development is almost ready as well. Okay, next turn. Y'all are being bad in chat. Uh, Death, this is called Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is a PC game available through Steam, if you want to check it out. Um, it is a naval strategy game, but you get to design and build your own fleets and take them into fight. You visited an international weapons exhibition and journalist asks your, your impressions. You are not particularly interested. Our industry can produce much better weapons, but we cannot yet demonstrate them because they are secretly developed. I like this. We're going with that. A foreign journalist approached you asking about a high-ranking person from France's Admiralty. Never heard of them. Uh, refrain from commenting. Or you believe that he is an outstanding officer and an acquaintance with him would be an honor. Uh... I've never heard of him. <laughs> All right. So finances, we're back to building more of that. Research, we just finished this. Let's take that off. Uh, we currently have Rangefinder, which will be Stereoscopic Rangefinders 2 coming up. Hall protection is three months out. And we have an extra one that we can use on torpedo size or submarine experiments or something else. Let's go with the torpedo size. Bigger, beefier sausage. All of it. Okay, we can bump this up some more. Next turn. All right, so Scotland would like to order a Primo Victoro class destroyer. That's fine. Should have plenty of uh, shipbuilding capacity for that. Research. Seven months out. What are we getting here? Anti-flooding. That's actually big. That's big. Let's go with this. Get that done. Two months, we'll finish that. Finances, how are we looking? We're still losing money. Let's bump that back just a hair. Okay. 
Next turn. Admiral, France has brought in a new admiral named Dubois. Your opinion, Spartan? I have never, or er, isn't that the guy that sank his own ship in Brest? Lol. All right, how's our finances? We're, we're making money, so we're good there. Research is coming along still. Six months out for the rangefinders, one month out for the, uh, the new anti-flooding tech, two months out for the torpedo protection. So the sooner we get that done, the better. So did they manage to take back yet? I mean, what happened here? Oh my god. There is a lot of freaking uh, genocide going on in freaking... I don't know if it'd be genocide or regicide. Either way, it's not ideal. People are dying. Big time. Meanwhile, France is just over here just annihilating. Oh boy. If we go to war with France again, we're gonna we're gonna get killed. Like they are actively going to just invade us with everything they've got and to destroy us. I mean, we do have Germany and it and Austro-Hungary as allies right here that can potentially help repel them. I just don't see it happening. Screw it. We're back to poking the French. Poke them. Yeah, regicide is killing the king and genocide is killing the people, right? All right, so we're getting through there. Pretty sure that with that last sentence, I just got myself put on a watch list by the uh, the freaking British like prime minister. It's like, wait, somebody somewhere on the planet mentioned killing a king. We must investigate. Oh, I feel like we've been stagnant for so long. I think we already poked them, right? Yeah, we already poked them. Getting there. We're at 200%, so we're maxed out on our growth. Um, what is our current GDP? $13.1 billion. Yeah, we are vastly limited by our... Just our size in general. All right, next turn. Genocide is the destruction of an entire generation. Makes sense. They'll probably have a new prime minister anyway. Ouch. They have been cycling through them quite quite efficiently recently, haven't they? <laughs>
Jeff, uh, so transport capacity directly affects your overall GDP growth, and we need all the growth we can get right now. So, yeah, I need to max out my transport capacity. Uh, screw you, French. Syria would like a destroyer. That's fine. Scotland would like a Justitia light cruiser. Okay. Britain has conquered Wales. Yeah, I think Britain's Britain's going to be coming back. Yeah. Slowly but surely. Meanwhile, Scotland's up here like, hey, yo, yo, Italy, Italy, I like what you got. We like the cut of your jib. We, we like those, those battleships you got down there. Can we get all of them? Please. Can, can we get it? Can we get an, a rush order? And I'm like, bitch, what do you think? This is Amazon? Do I look like Jeff Bezos? Like, it takes time. We don't just have this shit laying around. Now, what would be cool? Now, this, developers, this would be something that I would be really, really interested in. Say you have... Uh, these minor allies like we do. We, we have Bulgaria, Syria, Romania, and Scotland as minor allies. Why can't we, in the fleet, go to our older ships, say like my Imperator class battleships, like if we wanted to just get rid of the Imperator class battleships, instead of scrapping them, why can't we sell them to our minor allies? Why is that not an option? Wouldn't that make more sense than just outright scrapping them? Like, wouldn't that be cool? Like, I feel like that makes more sense. So, if you're watching developers, you know, it's just a thought. Just a thought. Okay, we finished that. Let's get rid of that. That'll be done in one month. So, let's go ahead and speed this up. That'll be done in four months now. Rangefinder's finish in five months, and that's Stereoscopic Rangefinder 2, which is a massive upgrade. Next turn. We're in the positive financially. Woo! Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be cool, like, you send the older ships out to, to like, your, your allies, your smaller allies... And sell them at a discount or something. I mean, in fairness, Ark Royal at tier 5 in Legends basically is Thanos. Ireland has defeated the Rip- Ireland has actually fucking done it! Ireland is its own fucking standalone country now. Well done. Love to see it, baby. Good to see the Irish flag flying proud. Meanwhile, Scotland's over here like, Good job, boys. Now, we need your help. <laughs> England is, is on the warpath again. Can we fucking get rid of these sons of bitches? <laughs> Like, this is just playing out, like, way too fucking, like, historical for these guys. <laughs> like, Ireland just grabs their shit back. Scotland's got their shit. England is starting to conquer the fucking mainland again. <laughs> like, they're already starting to sweat. They're like, oh, God, it's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. They're coming. All right. I do kind of like the flag of China, though. I don't know what this flag is, but it's kind of cool. It's different. Increased tension. I mean, they actually don't hate us right now. This is... Okay, I'm not opposed. I'm just going to let France be France right now. I'm not going to fuck with them. Because we, we don't want that fight right now. Who do we want to fight? I mean, obviously the Soviet Union is, is up for grabs. So I feel like they, they are obviously somebody that we could potentially yoink plus they don't like our allies so that just makes sense so let's go with the the soviet union is the next next group that we're going to be poking 
all of the Soviet Union. Just poke them. Meanwhile, fucking Britain is back up to a $31 billion GDP and a standing army force of 623. Like, they've already passed us an army. I wish we could grow our fucking army, but I don't have any way to do it. Like, there's no... It's not like there's a tech in here that I can, like, increase my my army size or something. That I'm aware of, anyway. What's this? Advanced propeller shaft. I'm not real worried about that, to be honest. Uh, we did just finish this, though. What is this? Capital Ship Towers 2. That's actually big. Let's go ahead and get that. Politics. I think we already poked the Russians, so we don't have to worry about that. 20% there. We are making a little tiny bit of money. Three months out for the submarine experience. Okay. Next! China, but China's so far away and they don't have any real provinces for us. That's the problem with going after China. There's nothing in it for us. What up, clouds? We're currently in 1904. And I believe the campaign ends in 1950. It is a 60-year campaign from 1890 to 1950. So we've got 45 years left in this campaign. We're only roughly 14 years into the campaign. Somebody's building a lot of ships. Yeah, they have small GDP, but there's nothing there for us to get. Like, going to war with China doesn't do us any good. Scotland wants three more heavy cruisers, that's fair. We're over our tonnage, though. How much are we over the tonnage? We're over by like a thousand tons. It's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. We'll be fine. Okay, where is the the Russians? Whereas Russia actually has territories that I can take. So if I can get Russia to go to war with us, I feel like more along the lines that that's going to work out in our favor. Whereas China, like I said, they have nine provinces, but I don't think we can take any of them. I think we've taken everything they, they have. Okay. Two months, three months, and two months. Still can't increase tension or anything with the allies. Next turn.
Large industrialists proposed a redistribution of the government's budget in favor of the industrial sector at the expense of the Army and Navy budgets. What is your reaction? Army matters are not of my concern, but you know for certain that the Navy's budget should stay as it is. These business people are ready to sell their homeland for some extra cents. The government should not listen to them and support the Navy more. Or we just feel unauthorized to interfere and we get more GDP. I'll take that. I need all the GDP I can get right now. Does mean we lose a little bit of extra money right now. Dude, Southern England holding on strong, I'll give them that. Like, they're not going easily. Alright, well, let's keep it going. Twenty-two months until we finish what? That's the advanced propeller. Not worried about that. We got nine hundred ton destroyer. Pretty sure we already have that. Okay. Gun layout, what is this? Superimposed large gun. So that's our barbettes. We're allowed to actually start using barbettes now. It's actually kind of big. Let's take this off because that finishes regardless and go with that. That'll finish in two months. This should finish next month regardless. And then we move that up here to this. Okay. Fair enough. Rare Jacques. Prairie Jacques. What up, Breda? Welcome to the stream, I did. Oh, God. Are you guys talking about Azure Lane? Warship trade, uh, Scotland would like a Primo Victro class destroyer. Fair enough, go for it. Southern England of un w has been conquered by the British. Ouch. They lost 483,000 men, and the British Empire only lost 21,000. That's a rough day. That's a rough day. Well, the British Empire is back in full swing at this point. Next will be uh, Northwest England that they go after, I would assume. And suddenly they don't like us anymore. Funny how that works. Funny how that works. keep uh, poking shall we finances we're gonna be okay we uh, this in one month this finishes next month this finishes in three months one month Ooh, what does this give us three meter or er, three kilometers storage range nice it's actually kind of big. Let 
Definitely would like that. Uh, yeah, we're getting there, boys. We're, we're starting to claw our way back from uh, our deficit that we were in. It's going to take time, though. I've, I'm assuming you're talking about War on the Sea? If so, yes, I have played War on the Sea, the original, uh, like, campaign. But I've never heard of War at Sea. Okay, stereoscopic rangefinder, superimposed gun, electrical powered submarine, all big deals. Okay, we're still losing money though. Drop that just a little bit. Finish that, finish that. That finishes next month, that finishes in four months. Let's go ahead and uh, get that and that done. Okay, fair enough. What is this? Advanced naval formations also wouldn't be the worst. Okay, next. Uh, Patrick, yeah, I intend to get uh, New Jersey like day one. If I can. I know. But you you guys know me. I love my Iowa class battleships and having a third Iowa class battleship is, you know, just kind of a thing. I need it. I need it in my life. What up Christopher? How's it going? Good to see you, CH. All right, so we finish this. That finishes in two months. Let's go ahead and get that done next month. Six months out, one month out. Advanced medium funnels is coming. Fair enough. Next turn. We're officially back to average. Uh, it's slightly less health than the Iowa. It's got slightly better, uh, Sigma than the Iowa. And it also has some interesting, um, uh, things like faster shell velocity for AP and HE. So there, there is some reasons to go after the New Jersey ship. And then the commander itself is actually interesting based on its base trait and as well as the special skill that it gets, which increases Citadel damage over distance. Um, if you're beyond 10 kilometers, you get a bonus to your Citadel damage. So, there's a reason. Dude, our entire thing is being taken up right now by... All right, we're three months out from having a couple more Adagio class battleships, though. That'll be nice. And I think it's time that we uh, reduce our battleships.
Ezio Auditore. Keeping with our tradition of saving ships for museum ships, Ezio has managed to secure his spot as a museum ship. That should also save us a little bit of money, which then we can pump into crew. We just finished this, so that's done. Aerodynamic shell type. It's not the worst, actually. We did just finish this as well. So let's get that done. And then go with this. All right. Next. All right, where are we at? Finances, we're making just a little bit of money. Research, one month until that finish. One month until that finish. What's the next one? Mark three nine-inch guns. I don't think we're actually using... Uh, actually, I lied. We are using nine-inch guns, 100%. So that would be a big one. Uh, but I'll wait until we get the shells and stuff done. Next turn, we should be able to pump into that. This is coming soon as well. Anti-submarine theory is coming up. Fair enough. Next. Dude, we're flying right through, man. Peacetime, man. Everything goes so fast because you ain't got to like sit there and wait for battles and fleet movements and everything. What up, Jandals? You're not wrong about, you know, causing people to play at further range. But for better commanders... Like for better players, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty nice, I think. Scotland would like another heavy cruiser. Good lord, Scotland. We're over our freaking cap. All right, so we finished this. We finished this. So let's get this going.
Not worried about that. Let's go with that. Okay. 52%. Up to $14 billion GDP currently. Tennessee is thick, but California is thicker. The Tennessee that we have in game is the pre, pre like updated version. Cali is the post updated version, but they're sisters. Oh, you guys and your anime girls, man. What am I going to do with you guys? Scotland wants another. I can't. I'm already over my cap. Sorry, Scotland. Scotland has no chill when it comes to buying ships, man. They want all of them. They want all of them. Okay, one month, one month, and this one finished. So I guess we knock this one out. Fair enough. Pluto's not a planet. They changed the definition of what a planet is. Pluto is a satellite. It is not a planet. And Pluto in size, to put Pluto into perspective, the Earth's moon is larger than Pluto. Think about that. Um, okay, we got a lot of new stuff. Good Lord, there's a lot of stuff that just happened. Okay, we just finished that. We get that next month. We just finished that. Get that next month. Let's go. All 
Armor forging wouldn't be the worst. Hull strengthening also to build bigger ships. Okay. I think that's fair. Next turn. All right, Puddin. All right. Let's... Let's chill a little bit in chat, okay? Somebody get a freaking spray bottle and spray this, man. Treat him like a little cat. Spray him. What up, Alex? Uh, you haven't missed much. It's been a long period of peace for once, which is uh, rare in these neck of the woods. Oh, God. I think I'm about to time everybody in chat out. <laughs> Y'all, you guys are just wrong tonight, man. The heck's gotten into you? Uh, 64% of the way to the next there. Um, we're gaining there. We just finished this. Let's get rid of that. Explosives are being worked on. We don't know what it's going to be. So we'll hold. And just let things go normally, I think. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. Next. Have a good night, Atomic. France and the Austro-Hungarians have gone to war. Five months out for improved annealing, which reduces weight. We've got three months out until we get the Dreadnought improvements, which gives us a Dreadnought 2 hull. What are we getting down here this time? Pykirk Acid. That's actually kind of big. Wouldn't mind having that. 
And we do have one open, so we might as well use it. All right, so the Germans are attacking the Russians. The French are attacking the Germans. We are supplying troops to the Germans. Looks pretty futile, to be honest. Two months out, seven months out, three months out. It's about time that we uh, start modernizing the fleet in preparation for war. We have gotten a lot of new techs, so we should be able to modernize pretty much all of them. Okay, so here's the deal. We're making money now, so we're going to increase our crew budget. We've got a comfortable thing. We're just going to max it out. We're losing $20 million a turn right now, but war is coming. So I want to get those crews training. Uh, we're mo one month out on the explosives, five months out for armor forging, two months out for the hull strengthening. Uh, I want to take... These are gone, so let's just get rid of that. The Imperators can go away. Um, Justitia class, let's uh, get you guys modernized. Uh, Patrick, I was going to play it this week, and then I didn't. Um, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I'll be honest. Um... Hopefully soon, though. Alright, so we've got... Stereoscopic 2 rangefinders. We can go electrical turrets. Ship is overweight now. Ballastite and semi armor piercing. Go anti flood two. Increase the shaft. Multiple expansion steam engines. Okay, so we're slightly overweight. We can go on a slight diet and get rid of that, though. Max that out, might as well. So if we take...
Okay. That gets us under. So we strip a little bit of the armor off, but it's not that bad. We should be okay. Safe. What up, Dustin? How's it going? Three-hour game of Monopoly? I believe it. Monopoly can last for literally forever if people don't, like, actually want to concede or move the game along. Gonna take two months for these to build. I think our Cavalier class heavy cruisers, we're gonna go ahead and uh, give them one last iteration and then we've gotta we've gotta move on from these things. We've got to build us a new heavy cruiser. Have to. So let's give them one last iteration for the heavy cruisers. It's going to be stereoscopic. We're going to have electric. 18 inch torpedoes. Anti-torp 2. Double. Anti-flood too. Steering. Improved shaft. Overweight by a couple of hundred tons. So not that bad. Fair enough. Okay. I um, guess we strip a little bit. Off there. What's our range? Not. I really don't want to reduce this thing's armor much more. There we go. Save the design. Yeah, I know. It's not much deck armor. But again, most of the shots that we take in this game right now are so close that it's not even deck armor that's getting pinned. So I think we'll be okay. I actually have hot cocoa flavored protein powder and it's pretty freaking fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. I make a protein shake with it in the morning with some creatine. It's pretty, pretty badass. Currently over our limit. Big surprise. All right, let's go next turn.
I doubt I'd ever get a chance to uh, go to Brazil, Puddin. But the way you phrase that doesn't leave, like, much room for me to discuss it. It seems like you're saying, Spartan, you're coming to Brazil. <laughs> Bulgaria would like a light cruiser. Fair enough. We're still over our limit, though. But all the refits for the light cruiser should be done this month. Finances, we're at 76% on the next shipyard upgrade. We did finish that. Four months out for armor forging, one month out from the uh, next haul for the, the Dreadnoughts. That'll be a Dreadnought 2 haul. Next turn. If I went to if I went to Brazil, I'd come back to the U.S. with a bigger butt. Doesn't end well for me. Wouldn't be able to fit through the doorway. Be bad. I will say this: uh, Brazil does have an interesting culture. And yes, Noriko, I'm very much aware. Okay, so now we should be able to take... Our Cavalier Heavy Cruisers. Get them going. Um, Research-wise, we just finished the Dreadnought 2 haul. We are working on armor forging in terms of this, so that'll be done in two months. Everything else is coming along. So we're just going to give it time. Um, ship design, we need to... Refit our Leonardo da Vinci class. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Should be able to view these. A Brazilian butt lift is where they actually take fat from other parts of your body and they inject it into your butt to make your butt bigger. If you've ever seen any of the like, any any of the like major like influencers like Kim Kardashian or any of those like those people, Nicki Minaj is another one that comes to mind that have the ridiculously large butts. That's what they've done, and it's extremely dangerous because as you inject that fat back into the the butt area. It, it has a tendency to end up getting injected into a, a vein or an artery, and then that goes back into your heart and causes fatty embolisms or blood clots, uh, which can cause a lot of a lot of health issues and even death. Not not a good thing. Not good. Not good. Strokes, heart attack or heart failure, um, pulmonary embolisms, like it's not not good. It is literally the deadliest plastic surgery procedure. All right, so if we take and do this, these are still just Mark II's. We should be able to add this. Anti-torque two, double hole bottom, 
anti-flooding too. Go up to Piker Gasset, I guess. Stereoscopic rangefinder twos. Gets us close. All right, I think that'll work. Maybe add a little bit of Citadel deck armor. Save. Yeah, Puddin, I agree. I'm, I'm right there with you, man. I, I don't think I need a butt surgery. I've always had a big butt. Of course, I've been fat for most of my life. So that doesn't help. All the squats, all the deadlifts, leg presses, they all come in handy. And I agree, let's get back on the topic of uh, ships. All right, so then of course, destroyers, I don't know that there's a whole lot we can do with these. We'll try, see if they can get an upgrade. I guess we can upgrade these. Add minesweepers. Eighteen inch torps. Okay, and we probably need to reduce speed just a little bit in order to make this happen. There we go. Save.
Currently working on Yami and the Conqueror. Nice. It's always fun. Let's go ahead and upgrade these as well. All right. So we're over by, I don't know, 600 tons. Fair enough. There we go. That should get us where we need to go there. Got the Alaska. And you like the Des Moines more? I mean, Des Moines is a better ship overall. It's more useful. Alaska's very nasty if you get it into good good crossfires. It's pretty tanky as well. So, they both have their, their strengths, their weaknesses. Alaska is more like a mini battleship that you can use to like get around the map a little bit stealthier, catch people's broadsides. Des Moines is just nasty. Like, it's just nasty. That rate of fire, the 203mm guns, uh, AP is disgusting, HE is disgusting, it's got good radar. Like, it's really, it's a good ship. All right. Finances, we're still losing 19 million per turn, which is not ideal. Politics. Let's take a look at the politics side of things. We currently have $14.6 billion GDP, which is good. We're growing. The British seem to be very close to going to war with us. French are right there knocking on the door. Americans, the German or the Russians, and now the Chinese are thinking about it again. Man, there's a lot of folks that want to go to war with us. Wait, the Canadians are allied with us. Nice. The Canadians will stand with us. That's pretty funny. All right, what do we got here? We got armor forging finishing in two months. Nothing else in need of speeding up right away. Wouldn't mind getting that. Maybe this. All right, next turn. What up, Salty? The British still had their navy out sailing around, so they did a naval invasion or something and managed to claw their way back from uh, extinction and took back their island for the most part. For the most part. Dude, Montana's nasty.
All right, so for ship design, we should be able to go ahead and refit these guys. It's gonna take us over our cap, but it shouldn't take too long. Two months, they'll be done. Okay. Finances. So I just I just figured something out. So because these have a base rela or a base uh, repair time or refit time of one month, the maximum it can do is double that. So I can get all of these refits done at the same time from now on. So that's what I'm gonna do, regardless. Now that'll definitely slow down our other projects, but again, that's for other nations, so I'm not even worried about those at the moment. So, we're just going to keep on a-trucking. Um, Politics-wise, I mean, everybody wants a piece of us right now. China's pretty close in terms of wanting to go, so I guess we can go ahead and provoke them. Maybe we can go to war with them real quick. Everything else is going, so just go ahead and go. Yeah, Georgia can be uh, can be really, really bad at times, man. In terms of other, when you're comparing it to other American battleships, like it's not a bad ship. It's just I prefer to hit more than one or two shells per shot. It really does get annoying. Yeah, they haven't taken Scotland. They haven't taken Ireland. I think the uh, British are stuck. Apparently, Canada's building up their fleet, too. Four months until we get multiple expansion steam engine, two. Slightly behind tech there. Not too bad. One month until we finish this. What is this? Radio Telegraph. It's actually kind of huge. It's actually kind of huge, chat. So we'll be uh, trying to get that as quickly as we can. These should all finish next month. Yeah, you can build a uh, German battleship dispersion build. You can use either Von Hipper or you can use um, Azure Lane Scharnhorst, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely possible. Yeah, Buffalo's pretty awesome.
Oh, Lance's. What am I going to do with you, Lance's? Four months. We did just finish that. Two months for this. And then we want to speed this up and get that done as quickly as we can. We are losing so much money so quickly, though. I was hoping that we'd be at war by now. We'll let that go normal. Next turn. Who even uses a radio telegraph nowadays? Could you get a destroyer or a cruiser called Delta? Uh, we could probably do that. Pretty sure I've got plenty of uh, light cruisers that we didn't name yet and plenty of destroyers that we didn't name. Yeah, I know they use them for, like, alternative lines of communication, but for the most part, like, there's very few people that actually genuinely use them. China's threatening us! Yes, go to war! Please, give me money! All of it. Our country has increased its financial growth and tax income is booming. Our primary minister asks, um... Invest in industry. Give us all of the GDP, please. Sure. Okay. Let's go ahead and increase the size of our port. We got two months, three months, six months. Our fleet. Needs to be set to sea control. Which is going to bite into our budget just a little bit. And now we've got to send some folks out. So... 
we should still have somebody over here, right? Yeah, we got a couple of people over here. Oh, I forgot. Ezio is over here. So we currently have a couple of heavy cruisers and light cruisers over here. That's fine. We can send them up here. What happened to China? They changed their flag again. Where are they heading? To the Arabian Sea? Fair enough. Okay. Well, let's dispatch a division. So these are Leonardo da Vinci class, right? Yep, all four of them are. Move ships from here to the Eastern Mediterranean. Move these guys to the Western Mediterranean. Move battleships a heavy cruiser escort Oh, we're over the limit Fair enough. Move them there. Move you guys to the Red Sea. Move you guys to Taiwan. Give them a couple of escorts. Um, I think that's everybody at the moment. I think that's it for the moment. Still making money. Research is coming along. Next turn. Ah, I forgot to name one of the, the things. Give me a second. Have a good night, Ark. Have a good night, Johnny.
Have a good night, Lances. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. here, so I'll be probably calling it pretty soon, too. Not Dustin. I do the same. Like, I don't... I almost never watch regular TV. I watch pretty much only YouTube. Chinese are trying to take back Mongolia. And they have the forces to do it. Not much I can do about that. Two months out, one month out, eight months, five months. Uh, fleet, somebody wanted a light cruiser named after uh... what did we want it named? Have a good night, Lances. Delta. Got it. Gotcha. There you go. Uh, I don't actually... Well, come to think of it. There you go. I got you. And we do have one battleship that's not named, by the way. Defiant for the battleship. There you go. Uh, Evan, I think he wanted... Let's see. We'll give you one that's called Coon... Coontok? Or Coontosh? Alright. Now, back to where we were. They're coming at us with 1.1 million troops and we have 290. It's insane that they have so many freaking troops, man. I mean, I get it, but it's crazy that they get so many troops and we don't. Like, we're in freaking Hong Kong. Like, we should have some troops. You would think. All right, next turn.
Have a good night, Navy. Appreciate you, my dude. Yeah, I know the Kuntok is, or the Kuntosh is a uh, Lamborghini. It was pretty windy at times. I don't know that it is right now, but it was, especially last night and today. All right, we actually have a pretty nasty fight here in uh, Eastern Mediterranean. It is our Leonardo da Vinci class battleships. with okay crews versus torpedo boats, light cruisers, heavy cruisers, and battleship. So this could be interesting, folks. Lord knows we got the firepower to do it. <laughs> if we can hit them. All right, stay tight. Enemy spotted to the southwest. Speed up time. Make sure we're firing AP, please. In case you guys forget what the Leonardo da Vinci class looks like. I've heard they have guns. Surely they're not running away from us. Come on, China! Fight us! You wanted this war? Come and get it! They have spotted us. We're about to be engaged. What's up, Yami? How's it going? Yeah, I believe it, Ethan. It's pretty chilly here, too. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was pretty chilly. Like, we've been spotted, 
Which is why it slowed down to times five, but they're not firing at us. And we're not getting close enough to actually, like, see them. Just give it a little bit more time. You'd think a fleet of this size versus two ships, they would just come right at me. Yeah, it got kind of warm this afternoon. Again, we're within close enough distance that we can't speed up time any further than times five. So they're very close. And the only reason we're not engaging them is it's likely destroyers or, or torque boats that are closer. So they're too small for us to see yet. And I want to give them time just in case we do actually see them. I don't want to rush this. Ohio has some good stuff. Like, there's a lot of good in Ohio. But, I don't know. I don't go on TikTok, so I have no idea what TikTok says about Ohio. Alright, they ran away. Look at them. They're all damaged, and yet they can get away. Like, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Their battleship's only capable of 17 knots. It's, it's heavily damaged, and it gets away from us, even though we're capable of 19 knots. We're not able to catch up to any of these guys. That's so dumb. We get victory points for it, but it's still dumb. <sighs> Vittorio Veneto Vittorio Veneto Yeah, Dustin, I'm I'm I know that feeling. I grew up from being in the middle of nowhere, so I do see that. But it's not that bad. There's a lot of beautiful places here in Ohio as well. Okay, we're officially at war with the Russians too, apparently. How goes this? Apparently it hasn't started yet. We're losing $1.5 million. Four months out there, one month out there. Let's get rid of that. Put some money into cruisers.
another potential fight. We're actually blockading China with the help of the Germans and the the uh, Japanese. Well, that's interesting. The Chinese are not going to have a good time. A war with the British should be avoided at this time. We we don't have... Oh, I can't afford it, though. God dang it. Now the fucking British want to fight us. Why is it that we can't get into a fight with one person at a time? We literally have to fight everybody at once. Like, God dang it, man. Ah! All right, where is the fight? Two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers versus two heavy cruisers and a light cruiser. We actually have the, the advantage in this one. All right, turn this off. Light cruisers, I want you guys to go to the west. And I want the heavy cruisers to follow. Speed up time. I've heard of Jamboree in the Hills, I've never been or anything. Okay, we're being engaged. Torpedo tech's getting fucking better. They now have... Point nine. It says the torps are only 0.9 kilometers, but I find that hard to believe. This guy's launching from two kilometers away. How does he have torps that are freaking 0.9 kilometers and he's launching from two kilometers away? This it has three kilometers. Okay, so it's one specific cruiser type that has three kilometer torpedoes. 
Good to know. We lost 51 crew. Meatball coming in tops with 9,200 damage dealt. Pineapple coming in second with 5,500. Very nice. What up, Bents? How's it going? Yeah, SAP is nasty. Have a good night, Dustin. Appreciate you. I have no idea, hit shot. I have no idea. We have quite a few. What up, Josh? Nice to see you. If we look at the politics and see what China is going, like they're being blockaded by us right now. They currently have a GDP of 6.1 billion. If we blockade them long enough, there's a chance that we can cause them to capitulate. That would be interesting. They already gave up their major offensives because of it. Like, they don't have the... Ah. I think we have an idea, boys. I, I may have just figured out a way that we can stop the French's reign of terror. Uh, if they can't maintain a major offensive against us because we're blockading them, then maybe that's the key to beating the French. Let's finally figure out a way that we can blockade them and then maybe we can uh, keep their armies from being able to do anything. But currently Germany's being invaded, which is not ideal. And it looks like France is going to win that. Dude, France just has too large of an army, man. I don't understand how they never lose any army. Like It just seems like they've got oh, millions and millions of troops they can just throw at the target. Every time. Let's move to Misawa. Okay. Barely holding on. Hall construction project finished. It's good. Might as well finish that next month too.
What up, King Millie? How's it going? Hey, we finally got a new armored cruiser haul. It's about freaking time. You guys know what that means. It's finally time to actually do our freaking thing. They're they're going up against us here. I mean, we have a larger army force than they do. So we should, in theory, be able to win that. We'll see. Okay. Um, we just finished this. We just finished this. So get rid of those. Next month we finish that. And what's this? Naval bombardment tactics. Again, I don't know that that's going to help me a whole lot. So I'm not worried about it. So boilers armor quality would be big if we take this off how long is that going to take six months we're down to 178 percent on our freaking fleet again all right new design let's get in here and design a heavy cruiser it's time Finally time to get some heavy cruisers that are actually decent. Hopefully. Alright, so we've got the experimental armored cruiser. God, they're still freaking hideous. I feel like this is a terrible hole form. But it's better in like every way. Alright, well let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Uh, set this thing for 20 knots. Standard crew quarters, induced boiler, multiple expansion, shaft, still using coal for God's sakes. What does that give us? 30%, so we'd need three of these. Looks like what we can get away with there. We're going to go 9 inch guns. Because we do have the Mark 3s. Okay. Uh, 
uh, for main tower. Got a whole bunch of two inch casemates. Which is better than nothing. Plus, these are Mark III two inch guns, so. Should do something. Not sure what, but they should do something. God, the camera movements in this game are so bad at times. What can we do elsewhere? Feel like we can put some secondaries on this thing. Mark two five inch guns. Put those there. Apparently not. Let's go the four inch guns then. I think that's a fair heavy cruiser. All right, um, let's go with Corvette, anti torque 2, double hull bottom, RV armor, reinforced bulkheads, anti-flooding 2, set up for AP, semi-armor piercing, standard, got ballastite and picric acid. Electrical turrets, please. Enhanced reloading. 18 inch torps. Stereoscopic 2. Some guns have poor sector of fire. Like what? I don't think so. I think everything's fine. I think you're losing your goddamn mind for no reason. It's lying to us, chat. It's lying. Yeah, still not quite up to like modern hulls yet, but at least we're in we're going in the right direction. And we do have plenty of room to make this thing even more um beefy than we've ever done. Go 21 knots. That reduces our operational range, but we still have 11 and a half kilometer range, so that's fine. Um, I 
armor though. I mean, let's go with a nine inch belt. Let's go with like six inches. Six inches. Yeah, it's gonna be too much. Too much. Also need two inches superstructure as well. Hundred and fifteen tons. Ten tons. There we go. Pitch and rolls not the greatest. Engine efficiency also not the greatest. But it should be a pretty solid cruiser. Twenty one knots of top speed for a heavy cruiser. That's going to be very accurate and nasty with these Mark III nine-inch guns. These are going to be disgusting. I don't think you guys quite understand. These things are going to reload in 26 seconds. Nine-inch guns with SAP and be deadly accurate. And these are going to be nasty. So uh, what do we call it? I kind of like Valoroso, to be honest. Yeah, we did induce spoilers. We don't have four spoilers yet. Uh, we already did one for you called Delta, so let's let somebody else have a chance. Testudo? That's not bad. That's not bad, Mr. Deeds. You haven't changed any of the engine or anything. Yes, I have. See? Right here. I've already, I've already done it. I've done the things. Things and stuff and things. Yeah, we can't build above 9,500 tons. Tarasenko, Valker, all right, we'll call this one Testudo class, and uh, we will let you guys name some as we get a chance to build them, so we'll go with that. It'll be good to finally get a decent heavy cruiser. Our heavy cruisers have been really, really not good um, overall. Feel like the load times have gotten slower today on this game. All right, these are 8.7 million apiece. They're 9,500 tons apiece. We currently have a total of uh, 30,000, so 40,000 tons. So we can build roughly five of these currently. Um. Like, what, what's eating up our, we've got some repairs, but oh, we got to finish all these damn contracts for these guys. Three months, six months, two months, four months, yeah. We got to stop building all these freaking ships for everybody. They're eating up our freaking ability to build our own. All right, let's build five of these. For now. Uh, that put us over the limit. Uh, 
All right, well, let's save one of these for now. Suspend. There we go, that puts us under. So we can build four of them for now. Two months till we finish this. Working on some engines, armor quality. Okay, let's delete the old one. Keep those for now. This was built in 1896. I think it's time to go ahead and build us a new uh, light cruiser as well. Okay, new design. Let's check out our light cruiser, see if we can't do something. Okay, so for light cruisers, like we still are stuck with the same hull, but we're able to build a much larger version of them. So I would like to try to get this thing up to like um, 23 knots if we can. We'll see. Uh, let's give them standard crew quarters. We're going to go induced. Multiple expansion, shaft, hydraulic, Harvey, double, reinforced, anti-flow 2, Citadel, line layer 3. Okay. What is our max size? I, I would imagine it's 6,000, right? Like we're maxing this out, so... Probably not able to get any bigger. Main towers. Uh, we need to make this a little bit wider. Oops. Okay, so we need like 5% beam in order to do this. So we would need to reduce this down. Put that there. Put that there for now. Funnels, how many are we going to need to get this done? We would need three of these. Okay. Main guns. Kind of want to go up to the six inch guns. Reload time 17.8 versus 13.8. 16 versus 12. Yeah, these are definitely better. 
21 seconds for a 7 inch gun. Not any more accurate. So yeah, I think we're better off with the 6 inch guns. And that won't fit there at all. That won't fit there at all. Okay, so we're losing firepower if we go with the six inch guns. In terms of overall broadside. Throw a couple of 5-inch guns in there for good measure. Of course, we do have some room for secondaries in terms of casemates. I mean, overall, I don't hate it, and it gives us everything we need. Still don't have deck-mounted torque tubes, though. What up, Hawaiian kid? How's it going? It is Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is a PC game available on Steam if you want to check it out. Highly recommend. It's a fun little uh, game where you get to design and build your own ships and take them into battle. I mean, I could move this back a little bit. And then maybe potentially use a six inch gun here yeah I think we get away with that Um, and that leaves us some armor, too, that we can throw in this thing. Let's go straight to a six-inch belt. Get two inches of superstructure. It's pretty stable, too. I mean, all things considered. Would like to get rid of this 5 inch gun and get a 6 inch gun in here though. Don't think that we can do it. Okay, what about. So these are 9.3. What if we go with these?
Only gets us 57. Can't quite squeeze that in there. It's a 75%. That only gets us 85%. does allow us to put another 6 inch gun on. Let's drop this to 22 knots. That gets us all the engine efficiency we need. It's a quad stacker. It's got five inch or 6 inch guns everywhere. Plus it has mines. I like it. I like it, chat! Alright, let's put some armor on this bad unit. Because we do have a little bit of armor to play with. We have a bit of a four weight offset, which is not ideal if I'm honest. So, is there any way that we can... Get rid of those. back just a hair that pretty much fixes that it doesn't bother them in their rotation at all these can still fire just fine I think that's a better configuration all right let's go two inches two inches Three inches, six inches. Oh, we can get away with maxing out our belt armor, baby. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, baby. We're going to be, it's going to be a good freaking little boat for what it is. It's going to be a good little boat. That's a little too much. Alright. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. We might as well add a little bit of armor to the conning tower. Maybe bump this up. Nope, that's too much. That was too much. Alright, so these 6-inch guns are going to reload how often? 17.8 seconds with this. This is going to be a nasty little turd. I copied the Karlsruhe class? Have I? I don't think so. I'm just throwing guns everywhere. I haven't copied anything. She's gonna be nasty. Alright, what we call this thing? These ought to future-proof us for light cruisers for a little while. P-51. 
peel them. I kind of like it. Not going to lie. I think... Ben, I like it. I I'm going to go with peel them. Save it. Yeah, because Pelum is javelin, right? Like, it's a, it's a throwing spear. We won't be able to build them right away, but we will definitely be building some of these. All right. Still blockading the Chinese. Let's go next turn. See, I was right. I know things and stuff and a little bit. Hope oh, we got some battles, boys. Oil has been discovered in Persia, who I think we're actually allied with, aren't we? Does that mean we get some oil, finally? Uh, this DD is going to run 100%. So. It's capable of 30 knots. There's no chance we catch it. I mean, we could try to catch it with the, the Veloci. But even Veloci is too slow. 29.6 knots. Alright, auto-resolve and see what happens. He suffered heavy damage, we suffered light damage. All right, now we have Adagio. These are our brand new Adagio class battleships. This is our first chance to see these things in action. Oh, please let this be a fight. Please. And just for the fun of it, Uranus and Neptune is right there alongside. Of course they are. Of course they are. Let's go, baby. The Russians get to find out just how effective our brand new Adagio class battleships are. Or Adagio. I'm not sure if it's Adagio or Adagio. Adagio sounds a little bit more correct. Come to think of it. Alright. So we got their battleship. Plus a very tiny heavy cruiser. A couple of light cruisers and a destroyer and a torpedo boat. Let's turn this off. Let's make sure it's tight. Let's make sure we're firing AP only. Wait. Oh, that's right. So, uh, I actually want to detach these. I want Adagio to be the lead. 
So I want you to jump in behind. There's the Adagio. And then we have Neptune and Uranus. Uranus. We'll send you guys on a scouting mission to find them first. Enemies spotted to the southeast, so we're heading in roughly the right direction. And Adagio, I want you to turn that off and follow these guys. Alright, speed up. I want to see these things in action, so I'll probably pull uh, Uranus and Neptune away once we get into a fight and just see what happens with the... Uh, the Adagio. Okay, we are getting engaged. They have spotted my battleship first. Interesting. Okay, we are being engaged. We are going to now turn and follow these guys. Dude, look at the firepower from those little two inch guns just uh, kicking. We got a hit with the 12 inch SAP. That might do it for that battleship already. Unleash all of the two inchers. Watch as we open up these freaking two inch guns at the back. Oh, that battleship is fucked! Dude, imagine this thing with a good crew! Oh my god! Dude, with a good crew, this thing is gonna be insane! Holy hell. Adagio says, hold my beer. I want in on this. And welcome to the age of dreadnoughts. All right. I want you guys to break off. Make sure this guy doesn't try to get away. Speed up, please. I don't think he's going to get away, but I'm just saying... Hold my olive oil. Okay, this guy's capable of a whopping 18.4 knots. We're closing the distance. We're now in range to shoot him. And he's not long for this world. Have a good night, Puddin'. Appreciate you dropping in. What up, Irnu? How's it going?
once again you can see these four inch cruisers just not able to live up to their expectations anymore they still do okay but the four inch guns just not quite living up to their expectations we are effectively turning him away from us towards our battleship again which is going to lead to bad days for him. There we go. Battleship six six inch main gun or six inch casemate just did three three thousand damage and down he goes. Oh, and we get a flood, a flash flood or a flash fire. Oh, it wasn't that good because we only got the one turret. Enemy spotted to the south. I don't think we're going to find him, but we'll just let it go. Yeah, we can end the battle. Oh, I'll, don't worry there, Lances. We, we've we got that covered. We just designed a new one. But that was our first test of the Adagio or Adagio class battleship. And uh, it performed... Bellissimo. <laughs> is, that, is that the correct term? I could be wrong. Yeah, we've got six inch cruisers on the way there, uh, hopefully in the near future launches. It is the Pelum class. Is it Bellissima or is it Bellissimo? I'm pretty sure they're both used, but I think it's one is used in specific context. Oh, I got to click. I was like waiting for the screen. What up, Connor? Welcome to the stream. Glad you got to make it. Uh, we absolutely annihilated the Russians. Like they, they did not stand a chance. And we just lost 10 transports in the Baltic. And now everybody wants our battleships. Who'd have seen that coming? It's like, holy shit, we've seen it in battle. We want them all. Give me one, please. All right, so in the Baltic, we're losing transports. We got to send some people up here. Do we have anybody nearby? We have one light cruiser and six destroyers here. Four battleships and six destroyers here. All right, well, let's send... We'll keep two destroyers. Um, let's move to the Baltic. Formidable Galatea. There we go. Split it evenly. Nice even split. And the rest of you
Okay. How's our finances? We are 20% of the way to the next upgrade. Um, we're still losing a little bit of money. We're holding. Politics wise, let's check our GDP. We're at 14.2 billion. So we're okay there. In uh, Tainan, or Tainan, we have a group. So let's go ahead and use them. See if we can't. Maybe fight that guy. All right. Everything else. Should be okay. Research. Let's check out where we're at. Two months until we get what? Boiler efficiency upgrade. It's not really that helpful, to be honest. Uh, armor quality is on its way. Everything else is just progressing normally. Honestly, I'm just going to take that off. Let it progress. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, just go. Just go. Close your eyes and click the button. Got a Chinese fleet eyeing Sicily. Yeah, they're not gonna. They're gonna. They're not gonna enjoy their life for much longer if they if they decide to uh, cause trouble. Yeah, Ezio is mothballed a long ways from home. You're not wrong. You have to refit for any any of the text that you research, whether it's uh, like upgrades to turrets or or anything like that. You have to actually refit the ships for those effects to then take effect. So if you get a Mark II turret or if you get an improved like anything, like you you gotta you gotta actually yeah here we go. The British are fighting us. Interesting. A few destroyers. And a heavy cruiser versus our uh, Leonardo da Vinci class battleships and a couple of destroyers. Let's see how this goes for him, shall we? Louisiana! Love that chicken from Popeyes. Oh. Louisiana, fast. You get it? You get it. All right. To the north. Destroyers, you're going to spot. Turn that off. Go full AP. Um, full AP. Turn that off. Tight formation. Give me speed. Speed is what I need. Follow. All right, this is their heavy cruiser. And we're about to test whether or not we can go full ham and YOLO this some bitch.
Dang it. Trying to get around to where we could potentially use the torps. He's definitely in range. some torpedoes hitting the water. That's a legit wall of skill. I'm proud of my destroyers. And they're three kilometers, so they're going to reach out and touch things. And if they do, God help whatever they hit. Let's turn those off for now. Get in here and get up close and personal and finish this torp boat off with guns. Our accuracy leaves a lot to be desired, I'll be honest. We took it on the bow. It's not terrible. That was a big hit. That heavy cruiser just ruined our fucking light or our little destroyer. Dicks. Also, torps. Down goes the Hampshire. Down goes the destroyer. Give me all you got, Captain. Don't you think you can run away from me, sunshine? I'm coming. What up, X? How's it going? X gonna give it to you. Oh. I think they are just gonna run away. Damn it, I can't believe we lost the destroyer because of one freaking shell from a goddamn heavy cruiser. That is the danger. 
That is the danger that you face. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Have them retreat. I don't know if that was a battleship that hit our destroyer or if that was the heavy cruiser. I think it was the heavy cruiser that hit us. Yeah, the Hampshire did 16,000 damage. Our battleships, though, they, they are not joking. 17,000, 14,000. The guns on the destroyers are not ideal, I'll be real honest. Didn't seem to do much against the other destroyers or uh, torp boats. And the uh, Wall of Skill did at least seem to try. So there's that. Yeah, it was the heavy cruiser, that's what I'm saying. Alright, X, have a good night, man. What up, Slav? How's it going? Yeah, the torps aren't optimal yet, but again, we were shooting them into a swarm of, like, very agile ships. Heavy cruiser and a bunch of destroyers and torp boats. So, like, not looking to hit things. But it is nice to see an actual, like, spread of torpedoes going at the target. Uh, we did we did lose one, one poor little destroyer. This will be more of a test of the, uh, the torpedoes. If we can get close enough to the battleship to torp it, that would be ideal. That would be ideal. Yeah, it's 3.20 a.m. here. All right, so battleships, I want you headed straight south. You're already heading there. Destroyers also south. Turn that off. Tight. AP. 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 Speed up time. gonna hold those off for now i don't want to accidentally launch them at the freaking destroyers again i want to save them for that battleship if we can find them okay we have been spotted they have spotted the leonardo da vinci battleship is primary target turn normal smoke up I said the god dang battleship is the fucking primary target, you fucking idiots! God dang it, stop shooting your fucking torps into the fucking light bullshit! Ah! Just do what I fucking tell you for once, you stupid fucks! I hate this. I hate it! Dude, the whole reason that I fucking selected the goddamn battleship was to make sure that you torp the fucking battleship! You fucking idiots! Oh, that's so annoying. 
It's so fucking annoying. It's so annoying, man. Oh my god, that light cruiser chose to go between us and the battleship at the wrong time. That battleship's fucked, though. Like, he does not have a chance. We just took everything from him. There's another flood. That should be the end of the battleship. Devolia? Or should I say, Volia? Oh my god. Watching the sheer volume of firepower coming from those battleships is terrifying. Watch just the next volley. If he survives long enough to see it. Yeah, he didn't even survive it. Fucking look like a light goddamn cruiser out there. These are fucking gigantic shells. Next volley's incoming. And down I go. Other than our destroyers refusing to actually target the motherfucking battleship with their torpedoes. <sighs> that went well. As a matter of fact, Cecilia and Leonardo da Vinci both coming in with 19,000 damage apiece. So there's that. And we took like no damage in return. But man, that's frustrating. Like, the whole purpose of me selecting the goddamn battleship as the target was so that you launch your torpedoes at the battleship and they still launched them at the fucking destroyers. Ah! Yeah, HE shells. Why you no use us? Because SAP. That's all I need to say. SAP is so stupidly broken right now. I'm going to use it all I can get. I didn't realize just how strong SAP was in this game. It's it's insane. Like, the SAP is no freaking joke, man. Soviets want peace, so we'll, we'll agree and see if that happens. We we'll, probably won't. All right, now we have a whole bunch of light cruisers versus the battleship Thong. I feel like we've already sunk the Thong once before, haven't we? Whole bunch of torpedo boats. Yeah, I have a feeling that these guys are going to absolutely run rampant over the enemy here. Um, yeah, it's not even going to be close. The Kaiser Frederick III class was a series of five pre-dreadnought battleships of the German Kaiserlich Marine built in, during 1895 to 1901. Good for them. Next. All right. Destroyer, I want you to retreat. Light cruisers, form up. Behind Giovanni, please. All right, enemy spotted to the southeast. Engage and terminate. 
That thing looks like a fucking speedboat coming out of there. He's like, zoom! <laughs> Little boat go burnt. Now, we don't have the highest trained crews on these, so this is their first real combat. But, they should be fine. Accuracy by volume. Somebody's playing a game of fuck around and find out out here. Told you. I knew somebody was playing a game of fuck around and find out. There we go. There we go, boys. Get the get the gun sighted in and just have a good time. There's our ultimate goal. So far, so good. Okay, down goes the heavy cruiser and the torp boat. And the other torp boat. Speed up time. Please don't ram ships, you fucking idiot. He 
you see how stupid the AI is in this game? Okay, we are definitely too close to this heavy cruiser. Apparently. He is hitting us every single time, and we are struggling to hit him back. How are we not able to hit this man? We have a hundred percent fucking chance to hit him. Just stop fucking trying to hit him and hit him. Thank you. Speed up time. I think that's the end of the light cruiser. Don't worry, the thong won't be running for much longer. Owie. I mean, we took that 11-inch hit like a fucking champ, though. Meanwhile, he's getting ripped apart by little 5-inch guns.
got a flood. So it's just a matter of time before he goes down at this point. There's another flood. And another. Down he goes. All right, you little turd burglars, listen up. You've had enough time to get away and you chose to stay. You will now be brought to justice. Instantly hit him. <laughs> Just one shot straight in, caused a flood. You like that torp, torp beat right there, boys? That was pretty clean. There we go. That was a good hit. Another flood on the torp boat. We're not letting you get away, you little turds. Well, that was good timing. I think the DD did actually get away. What up, Munya? How's it going? Uh, Mitri as well. Good to see you. Montebello. Yeah, he gets away. Screw it. What up, Vito? It is definitely, it is definitely dark out. It is almost four o'clock in the morning here. Sank ten of their ships, including their battleships, their heavy cruisers, their light cruisers. One DD did slip away, but we got all six of their torpedo boats as well. Uh, most damage goes to... 
Uh, Emmanuel coming in tops. Then uh, Montebello. Uh, Raimondo Montecucoli. Well, I'm in Ohio. I'm not really East Coast, but I'm in the Eastern time zone. So, yeah. Man, I wish it would... Man, I wish I would have known when I was younger that all bodies aren't the same. Photoshop itty bitty models on magazine covers told me I was overweight. I stopped eating. What a bummer. Can't have carbs in a hot girl summer. If you guys know that song, let me know. All right, where are we at? Still losing money. Our transport's still getting shrunk. Let's get rid of that. Don't need to rush that, so we'll hold off. Go with that. Um, what do we look at? 24% and we are at our capacity because of the repairs. God, I wish we'd finish these freaking ships for these other nations, man. Like, we are, like, right on the limit of our capacity. All right. Let's go next turn. We're crushing the Chinese. We're still blockading the Chinese. And we are crushing the Soviets. And hopefully the Soviets are actually going to give us peace this time. We can actually settle... Outside of that, finish that war off. Uh, we are winning against the British as well. Yeah, I still got to select ports for those ships. I know. I know Victoria's secret, girl you wouldn't believe, she's an old man that lives in Ohio, making money up of girls like me, cashing in on body issues, selling skin and bones with big boobs, I know Victoria's secret, 
She was made up by a dude. All right, so somebody has low crew. That'd be this one. So let me make sure we set the crew. That only further exas exacerbated my issue. Okay. All of the four inch cruisers need to go away. There's only a few of them left, but they need to go away. One battleship, one light cruiser versus a battleship heavy cruiser. Okay, fair enough. It is a Leonardo da Vinci class battleship with regular crew training and Neptune alongside. Fair enough. I think we'll pass the name down the line rather than saving the ship. Yeah, but the problem is Russia has so many freaking troops, man. We're just too small of a nation. We can't do invasions. We just don't have the troops. Spot it to the west. Uh, have you ever been to Tennessee? No, unfortunately. I've been close, but never quite. Actually, come to think of it, I haven't even been that close. Um, I've been through West Virginia, I've been through Virginia, I've been through Pennsylvania, I've been through Baltimore, well, Maryland, a little bit of it, a little bit of New Jersey. Um, I've been all the way down East Coast, down into Florida. But I haven't really gone West, and I haven't gone, like, directly South, like into Kentucky and Tennessee and that. Well, welcome to the stream, Jonah. Oof. Down he goes already. Do you cannot you cannot match the firepower that is these freaking Leonardo da Vinci class battleships. They're disgusting. Spot it to the northwest. I'm sure these guys are running. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River, life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, 
Growing like a breeze, country road. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. All my memories gather round her. Honest lady, stranger to blue water, dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrops in my eye, country road, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Mountain Mama, take me home. I hear her voice in the morning as she calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. Driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, country road. Take me home to the place I belong. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, God. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. I'm just a poor boy. I need no sympathy because I'm easy come, easy go. Little high, little low, any way the wind blows, doesn't really matter to me, to me. What up, Adala? How's it going? Welcome back. Mama! Just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pull my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, life had just begun, but now I've gone and thrown it all away. Mama, ooh, I don't want to cry. Oh, wait. Whoops. Wrong one. Didn't mean to make you cry. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on. As if nothing really matters. It's too late. My time has come. Send shivers down my spine. My body's aching all the time. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Gotta leave you all behind and face the truth. Uh, we are, we are definitely in a thing. Definitely. Oh, we don't currently have any battles going on. The war is continuing against everybody. We do have... Be, did, didn't we not send anybody to the Baltic? Pretty confident we sent people to the Baltic. Did we not? Hmm. I see a little silhouette of a man, Scaramouche, Scaramouche, can you do the Fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening, Galileo, Galileo, Galileo 
Hollywood figure I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family, sparing his life from this monstrosity. Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? This will not, no, we will not let you go. Yep, I'm just, I'm literally just out of it. Y'all know how it is. So you think you can love me and spit in my eye? I think it's stone me. Is it? So you think you can stone me and spit in my eye? Meow. So you think you can love me and leave me to die? Whoa, baby. All right, we've got to we've got to do something here. How long before we actually get some goddamn fleet capacity? Fuck. Like for reals, man. This is insane. Like, finish some goddamn ships already so we can get our shit moving. I could cancel sales. That I could do. You know what? Sorry, Canada! Um, scrap it for now. How much, how much does that free up? That gets us under the cap, which is good. Um, and then we can start to build some of the pylums or pelums how much are these 6,000 how much do we have uh, we can build like two of them it's not a lot if I'm honest yeah how long are those going to take It's going to take 11 months to build. That's not actually that bad. Set you guys to... Cagliari. For now. If you guys... Haven't seen the uh, Pelum, I'll show you guys real quick. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jeff. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Hold that thought. <clears throat> I'm going to need to get some water. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. Well, next thing you know, whoa, Jed's a millionaire. So this is our new cruiser, by the way. This is the Pelum class. It is a six-inch light cruiser. Got six-inch guns everywhere. It is a quad stacker capable of 22 knots. So it's going to be very nasty. It also has very good armor protection for its size. So it's going to be a very good one. Yeah, give me just a second, guys. I got to get me some water, man. <clears throat> My throat's getting all goosed.
All right. Sorry about that, chat. All right, so back to the show. We're still at war with everybody. Um, do we have anybody available to send to the north? We kind of do. Send you guys up here. Oh, you guys are repairing. God dang it. Um... Yeah, we don't really have anybody, do we? Who who you got? Okay. We got these guys just sitting out here doing nothing at the moment. Okay, let's move. Let's move you guys up to the Baltic. How we looking over here? Okay, you guys are being repaired. Fair enough. You guys are fine. Maybe go a little bit further north. Finances, we're at 160 percent in holding. Everything else is fine. All right, next turn. Morning, China. Good to see you. What up, Brother Monroe? How's it going? Yep, we're we're at war with literally everybody. Uh, well, not really. We're at war with China. We're at war with Russia. We're at war with Britain. Britain has come back from extinction. Uh, they literally were completely dissolved. Of course, right before the end of our war. So I didn't get any of the war prizes that I am owed. And it screwed up the entire map. But they were able to, because they had ships, they were able to somehow manage to gain a foothold back in the UK uh, or in England. And they've retaken England. But Ireland is now its own nation. We got Scotland as its own nation. Good to see you, brother. That is an independent Scotland as, as for reals. They are actually our ally, believe it or not, and they like to buy ships, and that is a problem right now, because my fleet capacity is completely filled up with uh, orders that I'm waiting to finish. I'm not having a mental breakdown, I promise. Also, I can add you as a moderator. All right, so, um, okay, we've got our cruisers in the Red Sea versus two battleships. A couple of heavy cruisers, a bunch of light cruisers. So he kind of found out that SAP is kind of broken in this, Brother Monroe. Ah. 
I don't think we needed to time him out for that, Noriko. All right, here we go. Two heavy cruisers and eight light cruisers versus two battleships, three heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, two destroyers. All right, we know the deal. Let's go ahead and pause. Let's get our light cruisers lined up here. Okay, you guys are out front. Okay, so you guys, tight, AP please and follow these guys ap please tight enemy spotted to the north so you're heading in the roughly the right direction and then you guys are going to ap follow these guys and then, of course, the heavy cruisers are going to be bring up the rear. Make sure you're firing AP as well. All right. Let's go. Time's 30. Did I do it correctly? Dunite triple base plus armor piercing ballistic cap and cap ballistic HE. Nice. Dude, the SAP is actually pretty ridiculous. I thought it would be pretty funny as, you know, the Italians to go ahead and start using semi armor piercing. And it's been ridiculously effective. That's a little terrifying. We found their battleships. Let's go ahead and smoke up. Man, this guy's got no health. Focus him. Get rid of him. They feel like they got really big guns. I'm not going to lie. He takes a single hit and it knocks an engine. Come on, guys. Hit the freaking targets. God, I hate not having good crews. Oh, there's nothing worse than having bad crews, man. There just isn't. Oh, of course. And then at the back, they're taking torpedoes. God dang it. Dude, can we hit the fucking target? It's a battleship and it's like f three kilometers away. And of course, these guys in the back of the fucking thing can't hit a goddamn destroyer that's right fucking next to them. Having bad crews in this game is so annoying. Like, it really is.
Like, we should be able to hit the target. We have stereoscopic rangefinders too. And we just are not allowed to hit the target. For no reason. Figures, Brother Monroe shows up and all of a sudden my, my, uh, the game is muted? Shouldn't be. Oh, it was on the wrong thing. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Appreciate it. Man, it's frustrating that we can't hit a fucking target that's this close. Hit him! It's a battleship, for God's sakes. How hard is it to hit a fucking battleship at two kilometers? We're shooting past the battleship and hitting the light cruiser. Because we can't hit this guy. For reasons unknown to mankind. And then they're still torping people at the back of the goddamn thing. The hell has gone on with our fucking light cruisers? My these light cruisers are normally stupid effective, but for whatever reason they are just not hitting shit. I don't, I, I legitimately am about to lose my freaking mind. Normally this entire fleet be dead by now. I don't know why suddenly we're not allowed to hit things. Far from the flagship. Well, who the fuck is the flagship? One of the heavy cruisers, I guess? Is that what's going on? God dang it. It's always something. Always something. Down goes a light cruiser. If we could actually hit the target, it'd be great. There's a flood. And then he hits us for a flood. We just got flooded again. Okay, battleship goes down. Shoot the guy that's right in front of your face. Come on, man. Down goes the heavy cruiser. And then, then we get a flash fire, of course. Uh, 
Oh, game. You are irritating me. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Would you like to shoot your guns back at him? You do have four of them back there. Two of them should be able to shoot him. Too, too much to ask, right? They're aimed, they can see him, but they can't shoot him. Duly fucking noted. God, this game is so frustrating at times, man. This guy's basically dead. He's only capable of tw 16 knots at best of times. What up, Soviet? I like the North Carolina. Personally. I mean, I just put out a video yesterday in it where I... on stream managed to put up, what, 165,000 damage with a nasty carry. Like, why are we not hitting this target? Why do we only have a 0.2% chance to hit? There's no fucking excuse for that. It's just a bullshit fucking aiming bug. Is all it is. Oh, and of course... Gotta throw the fucking bullshit fucking torpedo out your ass. Look, now suddenly it's 5%. Same fucking range, we're not getting any closer. But now suddenly my fucking guns can, can aim at him. Yet he's still absolutely tearing us apart. We still can't hit him. Of course. Dude, this game can actually suck my dick right now. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, this game can actually suck my dick. Dude, we have a 20% chance to hit the fucking thing at 8.8 .8 kilometers. Can't hit it. Just can't. It's too fucking strong. It just sits there. Doesn't have to change course. Doesn't get shit. Shoots straight through the bow of my bullshit and fucking dev strikes another fucking cruiser. Hit the motherfucking target, you stupid fox! Dude, he's just gonna fucking do it again! He just sails in a straight fucking line and he we can't touch him! We can't fucking touch him! He's invulnerable! Welcome to fucking Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts where nothing makes any goddamn sense! No matter what, how good your tech is, the fucking game still just fucks you every time! What the fuck, man? Look at him. He doesn't fucking miss. He doesn't miss anything. Every fucking shot. The only shells we land are the ones where we turn the fuck away from him. We're like, oh, turn hard. 
He's fucking us up. Suddenly all of our shells land a fucking target. Makes no fucking sense, man. God dang. But this game is fully released, guys. It's okay. It's fully fucking released. In fact, it's almost done being developed. They don't even need to fucking do anything at this point. Just nothing. It's perfectly fine. Ah. God, I'm actually fucking, uh, like, extreme. Oh, suddenly we hit it for 4,000? Ah, who'd have seen that coming? Fucking stupid bullshit. I have never seen our fucking light cruisers struggle this hard to hit a goddamn target at any fucking range, let alone point fucking blank, and have two of my cruisers get fucking detonated by bullshit because I'm not allowed to hit the fucker. It's stupid. Like, just let me hit the fucking thing. God dang it. When we finally catch up to this guy, we murder him in no time flat. Point fucking blank. Can't hit a god dang thing. Good lord. Stupid. We lose two fucking ships to bullshit where they eat fucking torpedoes because they can't think for themselves. It's like, oh, the enemy launched a torpedo. I'm just going to keep sailing in a straight line and wait for the torpedo to fuck me over. You put the torp dodge on and half the time all that does is make you eat the torp even more. God, this game's frustrating. It's not a difficult game. It's just incredibly frustrating with bullshit bugs that don't allow you to hit the fucking target. Boy, that's frustrating. Can't be affording to fucking lose ships and take this kind of damage right now. I don't have the shipbuilding capacity because of all the dumb, stupid, freaking countries that I'm selling ships to. Because one minute, the entire fucking world is at peace, and the next minute, the entire fucking world is just annihilating everything. Everybody wants to fight everything all at once. Even though we were literally about to get into a fight with one person, we had like six years of peace, and suddenly the entire world just wants to fight everything. What up, Yuga? I'm not, it's not that I, it's not that I lost a ship. Like, I don't care. It's just the fact that we lost ships for stupid ass reasons. Like, they can't hit anything. Suddenly. They just flat out can't hit anything. The entire stream, we've been able to annihilate everything. And then suddenly we get into a fight and all of a sudden they just can't hit shit. Just literally not allowed to hit anything. And now we have destroyers versus a heavy cruiser and destroyers. Will our, actu will our destroyers actually land a torpedo on a fucking heavy cruiser? Will they even target the heavy cruiser with their torpedoes? Or will they actually try to shoot the torps at the destroyer? Because that's what you do. <sighs> Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts in a nutshell. Fun until it isn't. And then all the bugs come through and just make you want to fucking hire an exterminator. Alright. Tight formation. Turn that off. Fire AP, please. Full throttle. Turn these off. Classic. Because simply falling in line is just too difficult for these guys. They got to do donuts for five minutes. Hey, 
About to be engaged. Of course. Look, instantly detects the torpedo launch. Immediately turns 180 degrees the other fucking direction. Like, it legitimately doesn't matter. Oh dear god. Oh dear god, these these guys launched torpedoes. We're sailing right back into our own fucking torpedoes. This can't possibly end badly. Turn! Turn! Oh my god. Dodge torpedoes, you fucking idiot! Oh my Lanta. Why is this game like this? That's actually a good looking torp strike, potentially. Not gonna lie. That one looks promising. Nope. He dodged it. Because reasons. Of course we do. Of course we do. This is why I don't use torpedoes. It's fucking stupid. Mistimed it. Didn't quite make it. Fuck you!
And he survives it. He survives it. He just took like five fucking 18 inch torpedoes like a fucking champ. Dude, fucking game. Stop being stupid. Oh. Oh, it sank. Good. Oh, the destroyer's back. That's cute. Welcome back. Would anybody like to actually shoot him? You know. Hey, there we go. Oh, boys. Boys, boys, boys. We sank both of them. We lost 72 crew. It was just a clusterfuck, man.